Oh, thanks. We're live, Kevin. All right. It. So now okay. let's see. Um, hey. now, here we go. Let here me we go, go here. Kevin, I, really, I, I, think, I think Kevin's shells turned out great, and Gary's did too. I wish he'd stay on panel and finish them. Yeah. His what? Kevin the shells. shells and yes. the I wish I he'd stay. Kevin, you should stay up here and finish your shells with us. You don't have to jump down. You could still yeah, mod from up here and do your shells. Get back up here. Heck? Yeah, he yeah. doesn't like scooter. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, I'm going to get on the other side. Thank you guys for waiting. I had to go find my iron in the car, and um, it was buried. And then Jimmy had to go fly in to pick Luke up. He went to see Top Gun. Oh, I love friend that. and his friend's father. That was good. You saw it? Yeah, I saw it. I, I saw it when it came out with uh, Gabby, and it was so good. It was good without and seeing the first one. That's how good it was. Oh, and I saw, saw the first one. All right, I gotta find the. Uh, and if those of you that want to come on panel, this link is still good in the. Um, just go up. How far up do they have to go in Slack scooter? Is it really let not me see. super far? But um, I, I found it. If I could find it, you can find it. Yeah, it's We're not too at. far. It's it was posted at. Um, let me see. One forty-one a.m. That's the current link. Hey, Desi. Okay. Hi, Sour Milk, Mike, Sean Sneed, WD. Hi, Sean Sneed. Hi, everybody. Okay, I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. Oh, Desi, you're so sweet. Love you. Okay. So the host, oh, I didn't make you a co-host. Ow, ow, don't punch me. Uh, okay, and I'll make Danielle one in case your miracle ear goes out. Janae is supposed to come up with her shells. Is she? Yeah. Mm -hmm. She was doing good too. I remember on the vacation. Oh yeah. All right. Let me, I've got a mute over here, so I won't hear you for a minute. I can't hear you for a minute. Okay. Okay. Good. Now we can talk about her. <laughs> yeah, what do you want to say? What you want to say? Talk about her. She can't hear us. Yeah. Give us the scoop, Danielle. No, you're the scoop. The scoop with scoops. The scoop was scoot. Yeah, you're the scoop. <laughs> I'm boring lately. I ain't got nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so tired. <laughs> I'm trying to get the. Hey, Lex. Yeah. <laughs> you hear her? Yeah. <laughs> Grandma's chair. Can no? I got the chair fixed. I just. Can't figure out the screen now again. Lexi. <laughs> Show video. Exit. I want the screen and then the chat, Lex. Oh, Carolyn, that's going to be pretty. You know you're muted. Sorry. So what I did was I put another coat of the paint on here, that the one you saw. Then I put the Mod Podge on. And now I just laid this out and I'm going to just leave that. I'm going to cut that off with the X-Acto knife when it's done. Um, but I've got it like that and I'm going to iron it now. I just have to get the uh, parchment paper, which I think I put in here, which is not too bright, but I can get it. Okay. Um, except that will do this on there. Who the heck is my parchment paper? I want it to look like. Lexi, I can't do it. Okay, that's really Lexi. Try a freezer paper. If you could just fix the screen for me, you've done it many times. She's all packed and I still have to pack. She's packed with her one bag? Yeah, one tiny bag. That's all she ever takes. So good. I know. I would Lexi, need like please. Come here, please. Stop screaming, Scooter. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh, I've been asking her for a while. Lexi. 
say? <laughs> I have to run out to the car again. I think I left my parchment paper in there. Okay. Okay. I had the freezer paper in here. Let me just see. Let me see. You know how I have the. See how I have the oh, chair. Yeah. <laughs> I know I have like bossy <laughs> sour milk. Famous. How do you do? I, I was doing that and it wouldn't work. <laughs> how did you do that? <laughs> see how quick she does that? I know. It's in their DNA. I can't help it. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Ron. I. Why is the Lord when God? Garner was trying to clean yourself on me, and you and you annoyed her. Oh, did I? Oh, yeah. sorry, Garnet. Oh yeah, hit the light, guys. Yes, hit that light. She was licking the pants too. <laughs> oh God, I'm, I don't see that yet, but hi. Garden of the Gods you're going to tomorrow. Where's that, Rebecca? What state? Sour Milk said hi, Lexi, sweetie. Hi. All right. I've got to go to the car. I don't come back, you know, to do. Tell us about, hi, Mike. Um, Danielle, tell us about the pool. Oh, my goodness. It looks so good. I got this um, stuff called yellow out. I had to use that last night, like yesterday, around seven or six or something. Then you have to wait and shock it. And this morning it was so clear and there was less on the bottom. So I took out the, the cartridge filter and cleaned that. It was horrendous. Um, and I, and I do, and I, and I've been cleaning it twice a day. Like that, I'm deal, I'm dealing with um, yellow algae whatever that is. Oh, okay. So mm -hmm. I, I don't have um, a filter that you could like um, vacuum to waste. I don't have that kind of a filter. It goes through it or you have, to, I don't know. So they were just like, you have to manually vacuum it. And I was like, oh, so I cleaned the, the cartridge, put it back. And that's so hard to do to open it. It's like a nightmare. And wow. so I wind up, I wind up, uh, cleaning it and then who is that Come i on. don't know oh okay we're good all right janae okay and uh so i i, cleaned, I started to vacuum and i got it all and then i went to get the water tested and um it it it's doing great and it's so clear i just had to um shock it which i did tonight and then it started to thunderstorm. And then now I don't know how many, you know, how many days it's gonna rain. I it looks like a lot of days, but so I hope that doesn't mess it up, but it seems to be okay. Yeah. And it, it was just it's so hard. <laughs> it's so hard every day. Just me trying to fix it. Hi, Janae. Hi, Janae. Hello. What are you working on? Well, I've got several things cut out here. I'm going to make a pink shell and I'm going to make a fall, a fall shell. And then I got this and I was thinking about putting these kitties on this. That's cute. Oh, on there. Yeah, I've got to do something with those kitties for my daughter. I want to put them on something for her now that she has a kitty. These kitties, these are old kitties, right? Um, yeah. Tammy sent me these. Yeah, they're not that old. I mean, a couple months. Oh, okay. I love them. <laughs> Yeah, so I'm doing this. You see this, Janae? I'm doing this on this table. Oh my gosh. Sunflowers, my, my favorite. First, my first table. Okay, so I'm going to take my little iron and I'm just going to go over this. And what happens is the Mod Podge underneath will heat up, melt, and um, the napkin will adhere without any wrinkles. 
What's the matter? What do I put in that pan so I can roll hot dogs and get them cooked up? Oh, what do you put in there? You can just put a little bit of um, a little bit of that here. Hold on, just. Feel right. better soon, Chris Be careful of this. Move this out of the way. Wait, burn it. Yeah, that'll burn. Yeah. Okay. You're welcome. Okay, so yeah, I'm just going to go over this, and then you'll have no wrinkles. And then you can put, um, you can even put on this, I would probably put a uh, sealer, but then I would use like a poly, um, poly, not, not urethane? Urethane. No, but the other one, the other one, the one um, poly, what do they call it? Poly, it's the one that's water-based acrylic. Uh, po it's made by the same company. Polystyrene or something like that? No, no polyrasmataz. <laughs> Remember that commercial? <laughs> polyrasmataz? No. <laughs> Um, Never heard of it. Ask, ask, ask for it by <laughs> name when they said polyglycode. It used to, I loved that commercial because it had like Boris, like Boris and it, the guy from like Boris and Natasha. And yeah. it was like, uh, they would say, ask for polyglycode by name. Otherwise, this could happen to you. And then that character would come out and say, they'd say, I like Polly. And they'd go, you mean polyrasmataz? <laughs> and then they'd say, no. And they'd say, make sure you ask for it by name. There's no substitution. Polyglycote but it's for your car. But it's polyurethane. And then there's poly, oh gosh, what the heck is the name? It's it's an acrylic. It's in the blue container. Uh, poly, um, oh gosh. What I the don't heck know. Poly. Urethane and poly, it's not urethane, it, but it's the same company, but it's the water-based acrylic one. Well, anyway, it's in the, it's in the uh, blue can. Um, but you could, you, people use epoxy too on, on them. Um, I don't know why, but I, I haven't uh, ventured into epoxy yet. Yeah, yeah. I haven't tried any of that resin stuff either. So that's what I mean, that's what I mean. That's what I meant, resin. Okay. Okay. So, all right. So now that is pretty well on there. And I just got to figure out like the piece I want here. And then I'm going to take the X-Acto knife and, and cut that. And then I will go over it again. Once I have everything on it, then I'm going to put the, um, the sealer thing, but see how easy that is. Um, now I've got, yeah, that's got beautiful. This. So what I did was put it like that, but I may just go over and just yes. like that just grab that here and I have to figure out how I want to put that here if I want to go with the ice. Wait, that's not clean. perfect oh it is okay it is okay I'm, I forgot I'm, I'm really good okay here we go so I'm going to put that in there and then I'm going to put it on the other side and then I'm going to put it on the other side and then I'm going to put it on the other side and then I'm going to put it on the other side and then I'm going to put it on the other side and then I'm going to put it on the other side and then I'm going to put it on the other side and then I'm going to put it on the other side and then I'm going to put it on the other side and match up with that one but it wouldn't match up back there so um now what was the very first layer you put down on that table before you put some, the napkin just just chalk paint just what chalk paint oh that's all mm -hmm. that's it I just cleaned it and just put some chalk paint. That's all. Oh. I know, right? I thought it was more elaborate than that. I know. I thought it was going to be Mod Podge and. Just well, but... chalk paint and then I put Mod Podge. That's it. You put Mod Podge on top of those flowers. On top of the chalk paint. No, I, on, well, I did the chalk paint and then I put um, the Mod Podge on. Okay, so the chalk paint, and then the Mod Podge, and then the flowers. Right. Mm -hmm. And then the iron okay. with the parchment. But I'm trying to figure out how I want to do this, um, how I want to piece this together. Yeah. Girl. What you doing? Uh. Why were you, you lost, you lost Minnie last night or something, Scooter? You were like, Minnie, oh, Minnie. Yeah. What scared you she to death? Come in. Oh, she didn't want to come inside for some reason and uh, was just acting strange. And so I kept going out with her, you know, she kept right. looking at me like, huh? 
And then <laughs> she wouldn't come in no matter what. So um, all I did was switch off the porch light for mm-hmm. a second. Cause I thought oh, that'll make her want to come in. I flipped it back on and she was gone. So I go outside, I start looking all around. There's no mini I'm yelling for her, looking all around the house and everywhere. And uh Is that Lynn and W here? Yeah. I, anyway, okay. after I a minute to or see two, these she earrings. She bought these earrings for me. Pretty. I wore these especially for LMNW. Oh, oh, nice. Nice. Love them. Pretty. I want to go. But anyway, all was well. She came to me. She came slinking up from somewhere. Okay. Um, what so what I'm going to do is do that. Okay. I guess I'm going to do that. We'll see how that works out. I'm going to just take the layers off. Beautiful job. Huh? No, I'm at I'm just cooking up something. <laughs> Ethan, who has hair. <laughs> they saw Luke with no hair. Yeah, they saw Luke with no hair. Oh, yeah. I th- what possessed him? He's so cute. He comes in a room with a half bald head on the top and the rest on the I love that. <laughs> My daughter goes, what would he do that for? <laughs> I think he thinks he's a comedian. Oh, he's so. <laughs> he is cute. He messed up. He had to go bald. He messed up on the top of his head. He was shaving the sides and he went up too high. Oh, was that what he did? <laughs> that's, is that what he did? Because that's not what he said. Maybe he said, well, I messed up, I had to go bald. He said, then I just want to go bald. Yeah. He just wanted to go bald. I think. That's okay. He He's always back. trying to make a statement. It grows back so fast. It does. Um, yeah, that's the good thing. Yeah, Charlie's had like the Yeah, I'm gonna see how that works. All my hair. All my hair. Yeah. Are you gonna make anything tonight, Scooter? Yeah, I'm gonna do a couple of shells, I think. Yeah. yeah, me too. I'm just getting a base coat on this because it's going to need another coat. Scooter, do you have that vase you were, remember that vase you were raffling off? <laughs> with the essay? With the, yeah, with the essay, with the Labrador Retriever or something on there. Do you still have Oh, I'm sure I have it. Let me see. From everything here, the stuff I can't do. Well, oh, I'll take care of it. Thank you. I'll, I'll take care of it. Thank you. Oh, I'm not getting it. It's way on the shelf on the uh, fireplace. Yeah, don't, don't. You'll fall yeah. down, and then everybody will say it was Carolyn's fault. Yeah, I don't want to. She sent Scooter to go get on that ladder. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let me do a couple of shares. How hot is it by you, um, Janae? Oh, it's humid. It's humid again now. You go outside. Ninety-four. So bad. Oh Take yeah, it's humid. Day. Yeah. You know, oh, it's so humid. Right yeah. so I'm sweating right now because the air conditioner can barely keep up. And I've been cooking all day. Oh, no, really? Uh, yes, I cooked all day. Oh, wow. All yeah. day long. Why don't you put a little flour in there? I'm going to put a little flour in there. Too hot. Somewhere in the little spots right here. So there's my little flowers over here. Over here. Uh, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Just a little um, I used to wear a little pink one, right? Yeah, the little pink one, the little gold yeah, one. I lose them every five minutes. I can't keep myself with the scissor. Oh, no. There's always another one. Yeah. Okay. This is ketchup. Where's the other? I'm going to have to use the scissors. Where's what? Ketchup? No, it's uh, not really. It's really weird. It's ketchup. Hmm? Where's ketchup? I don't know. Uh, that you guys had it last night. Remember? When you had the steak sandwiches. 
Sunflowers look so good on everything, you know? Yeah, yeah. Everything you put sunflowers on, like, look how good it would look on this heart. If I put oh, sunflowers yeah. all over this. Yeah. Love sunflowers. Yeah. That would be nice. Yeah. Let me put this here. Let me see. I love Christmas. Tammy made me a sunflower shell. Oh, did you? Yeah. It's really cute. I don't know, honey. Look, look on the pantry if there's any more on the top. That's where I just got it. I don't know. And we must need. Oh, yeah, he's out. Well, Rebecca, I'm not making anything. I'm relaxed. I'm tired. <laughs> I've been working on my pool. So how many days did the pool take you? Oh my God, maybe um, like 11, like 11 oh, days wow. of nonstop. Yeah. Nonstop. I really worked on that. Yeah, I really did. It was no joke. Remember I said like, oh, you know, you, oh, we'll go live and like show. Like I didn't even want to show it. I would have been embarrassed. Mm -hmm. Just like off water. <laughs> right. But you made it, boy, it's beautiful now. Mm -hmm. A lot of work. I'm still here. Okay. It is. It's beautiful. The kids love it. That's all I care about. They were just dying. They just wanted to go in it. I'm going to put that there. I just have to get up and wash this brush out. What's that paper you have on top there, Carolyn? It's parchment paper so that it, it doesn't, um, when you use the iron, it doesn't like stick. I'm just gonna put a little Oh, yeah. Good idea. It really is gone. So I'll see if you can get a hold of them. Be right back. Okay. No break. <laughs> not in the contract. It's not time for a break yet, Scooter. Get an hour and 20 minutes. Kevin, you should come back up with your shelves. Yeah, I'm going to come back on. Gary, you should show us Gary's first gel. Oh, and I have to show somebody. I have to show Sherry. I think Sherry M. I'm going to show your thing in a second. I didn't forget, Sherry. You try and do them. What's this? Mm -hmm. And this? What? I like seafood smell. I have no idea. It's a pan. Don't worry about it. Just. Wow. Oh. All right. I'm going to pick it. So. Okay, I will. All right. We go in there. Put that down. I do cut a little bit off that. Uh -oh. 
there's my oven, okay. So let me put that there. I'm just fill in that little space because I just, um, so and then, then I will, you'll never notice the oven. Obsess over it. I cut something out because it didn't match perfectly and I. So now I just have to trim it with the exacto, and then I'm going to go ah, move that, get off there, get off, and I'm going to then go over it again. So let me just put this in here. And now it's so humid. Oh, the humidity goes one day, then it's back again, then it's gone again. Oh. Is it humid by you, um, Danielle? Yeah, it's um, it started thundering a couple of hours ago. Oh, that's what we had too. Yes, yeah, scared the crap out of me. It, it got so loud. I was like, "What's going on?" Yeah, we uh, had that too. And we have not had thunder and lightning much at all this year. No, no we had. We had like um, I guess a little bit. Like it goes away, it comes back. It, I don't know. Like it's it's it was so hot. It's like I feel like we needed it because it was so hot. Yeah, we have just had like torrential rainstorms, but not so much thunder and lightning. No. Oh, yeah, that was All right. Let it go. All right. Um, this is one thing I wanted to show you guys. Make sure that. This little gnome that I picked up at Marshall's. Uh huh. He's a summer, summertime gnome. So he was on sale. But right. the really cute thing is this palette. Oh, he's cute. Oh, wait, no, you got some bounce. I was looking at you too. Right. The palette, what are you going to do with that? Yeah, I, he sits on this pallet. Oh, okay. Okay. In the kitchen. I like that. You don't put him on the tear tray? Yeah. Wait, I'm just sitting back here. <laughs> I don't even want to she's supposed to do her table. Where is she? Carol Lucy. But it's too hard for me to bring Carol Lucy. <laughs> she's in Ireland. She's probably sleeping. Um, Maybe. She did. She wanted to do a table, right? She did. She said she was doing it, and she said that it was not coming out well and she wanted to talk about what might be going wrong with it. Now where's my handy dandy exacto knife? Here it is. Yeah, you know, I didn't even notice with the iron. I thought like you just painted it painted on top, but I guess not. Oh the iron makes it so easy, Daniel. Okay. No place like no. Mm -hmm. Yeah, my the dresser I want to do is I had chalk painted it, and I want to do the whole top. Yeah, that I have one. I have one. I'm going to do too. I'm going to do. I want to do the top, and I actually want to do the draw. Kevin, I want to do the draw for you. Captain Lee fan. Well, we can do it together. Yeah, you have to let you have to um let me know and I'll let you hey, know. Jenny's talking about life. Hi, Julie W. Hi, Julie W. Hi, Sharon. Chris Lee. Hi, Sharon. 
Hi, Chris Ree. How are you feeling? How's Chris Ree feeling? Somebody was asking about how she was feeling. Yeah. Hi, Hi, GB. Hi, GB. How are you feeling, Chris Ree? Hi, Mike. Hi, Larky. Hi, Mike. You should come up and decoupage. <laughs> it would be fun to get the men up here. Yeah, well, come on, Kevin. yeah, with Kevin, come with Kevin and Gary and the only thing I did about is that amazing Debbie dog. D, Ooh. Debbie D, Debbie D, Marco K, Marco K. <laughs> Hi, Sean Smith. Sean. Did you get to listen to that um, trial at all? To me. Me. Right. You know, I didn't because um, oh but I'm going to. All my rowdy friends. How are was here. it today? I didn't get to watch either, but the mother was testifying today. And he killed both of his girls. Like, was that, yes. is that oh, the oh. only children they had? No, an older a son was the oldest. Okay, and it was only because they were dating an American boy? Yes, he didn't want them dating Americans. Wow, that's crazy. And you said that they, they, they knew that he was going to kill them? Well, they're saying that the mother had to have known. I don't know how true that is, but you know how the but chat the is. The war, Debbie Goldwyn, Goldman... I, I can't wait to get my cataract surgery so I can see right. But yeah, I want to listen to that mother's testimony. I mean, it's just crazy. So... <laughs> But I thought you said yesterday the girls knew that he was going to kill them. They said that in the letter that they wrote one of the teachers at school. And the teachers did nothing? Yeah, she said she turned it in, um, whatever the protocol was, to turn it into someone in administration, and she followed those rules. Wow. Yeah. And the girl said, without a doubt, he will kill us. And how did they find out who, who, how did they find out that they were both dating an American guy? Um, the father, I guess, must have figured it out somehow, even though they were super, super careful, you know, never really dated per se. Um, yeah, he, I, I don't know. I need to really follow the case more. But it's just horrible. They had pictures of both of the girls in the courtroom today, I saw. And they were how old? 17 and 18. Terrible. They were both going to be doctors, both super smart. Oh, my God. Yeah. He killed them, he killed them over a boyfriend. Oh, my God. American. And he, because he, he had plans for them to marry, I guess, some old guys from his country, whatever country he comes oh from. which makes no sense. He married an American woman, but I guess it's different for the man. I don't know. I really don't know. So crazy. And they said that the letter that he wrote the judge, this is just from mm -hmm. reading the comments today. Um, oh, okay. In the, the, in the case that um, when he wrote, he wrote the letter to the judge, not apologizing or saying he's sorry because He's right in his mind. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You know? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Because whatever religion, whatever type that he believes in, you know, um, yeah, it was okay to do that, I guess. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. I don't, but how could somebody do that to their own child? I don't care. I don't either. I don't either. Yes, Liza. Yes. He killed him in his taxi. Yes. Shot both of them. Oh, in his taxi. Okay. Oh. 
And the girl, one of them was able to call 911. And she's like, please, my dad's shooting me. He's killing me. Oh, my oh. God. Yeah, they have the call. I heard yeah. Oh, that's ho so horrible. That's why I want you to look into this case because you really get, you know, down into the nitty gritty. I know, but it's so sad. I know it is. It really is. But it is like that in some of those countries. And the yeah, religion. those honor killings. I know it's yeah. crazy. Yeah. You know, Shelly's husband, Michael, he's from Pakistan. And he's talked about this before. He's not Muslim. Um, he's Christian. And, um, but he said most of his country is Muslim. I'm not saying anything wrong with Muslim. Mm -hmm. You know, it's just these extremists, like every religion has. Anyway, he said he remembers in his village when he was young, there was a 13-year-old girl that had been ard. Mm -hmm. You know, 13, not her fault. Right. He said and they that killed her. her. Yes, he said she was oh lit on fire <gasps> in the village, oh alive. My God. That, oh my. that brought shame onto her family. <sighs> but lighting their daughter on fire doesn't. Yes. Yeah. That's that's. Yeah, Nicole G. The guy is a uh, last name is S A I D. I think the first name Yasser Y A S A R. And then SAID. He's on trial right now. He's he was on the run for 12 years before he was captured. Oh yes, I, I read Remember? about this. Yes. The son is in prison and his brother for helping him. Yes. Yep. That doesn't bring them shame, right? No. Mm -mm. No. Mm -mm. And you can see in one of the home videos that the dad takes of the daughters. The girls are both laying on their bed. And he's like, mm-hmm. You know, making really? like, yes, Ew. yes, and they're going, oh, stop it, stop. And they're both covering up with blankets, and I'm assuming it's got to be the brother. The brother, you see him in the film, and he grabs the blankets off of them. Yeah, and he's always sitting Good there, Lord. with the dad, and you know, you can tell that he's just like his father, you know, and that women are nothing. Right? I just Some don't subjects. understand. It's like human nature to look after your young. It's uh, supposed to be. I, I just don't understand that. You remember Sherry M? Yep. Yeah, Nicole G says, I like to go over this case. Yeah, it's in court right now. And the mother did testify today. She was so quiet. I hope I can get the sound up more to hear what she was saying how old is the mother she's quite a bit younger than him she um <laughs> let's see i don't know how old he is now but she said when they got together she was 14 and he was 29 oh my gosh is she remorseful at all about her daughters being killed oh. i mean does she feel bad about her she's like oh that's the way it is yeah she feels bad about him but about it I was seeing in the she, comments she, a lot. She, people were saying in the comments, him? no, she doesn't care. She thinks it's fine. I don't is think she against him? Bad. Is she against the husband? Yes. Or she? Oh, yes. She's against him. Yeah. Oh, okay. oh, good. Yeah. She was. I thought uh, you were going to say she's like no, God defending no. him. Yeah. She called him the devil when they said, you know, how you have to point him out. And she goes, that, there he is. There's the devil sitting right over there. Oh, That's okay. right. All right. Yeah. yeah. Oh my gosh. But she's just as responsible because she took those girls to him. What do you but how did, did she know he was gonna kill them? People, I don't know, Carol. And they're saying that she should have known because of the way he always treated them and said he would kill them. But he sweet talked her into bringing the girls to see him, said he was taking her out them out for dinner, I guess. Is what I've gathered from it. And she went ahead and told him to go or took them there. I don't know how she did it, but, or had him pick them up. I don't know. Yeah, they said it was under false pretenses that he got them to come over. The price of honor. Okay, I think I've seen that. I'm pretty sure. 
that's what that's it. That's that's about this. Yeah, yeah. The price of honor. Yeah. What is that on? What is that on? Um, let's see, Danielle, the girl's story. What's it on? Yeah, she went back to him, Sherry M. The girls had got her to leave him, and they all moved in together into some trailer or something for a while. The girls were getting jobs, getting the one was going to start her, her last year of school. And then for some reason, they all decided to leave. I guess it was because the mom talked them into it. I don't know. The sweet talked her into coming back. To yeah. Her. Wasn't that what it was? Something like that. He, Danielle said, yes, it's about this case. What is it on, Danielle? Is it on Netflix or, or what? Oh, Debbie. What? It was on Prime, Carolyn. What'd you say? Oh, Debbie, what'd she say? She said, and some of the honor killings are that the child is held captive, so to speak, and each member of the family stabs so they all have a part in it. I've heard oh. of that before, too. Yes. I had a start. Oh. I don't get it. It's on Amazon Prime. Yeah. Hey, Captain Lee. You want to see my little, my first shell? Yeah. yeah. Well, I wanted a pink shell. It's still wet, and I'm going to put glitter on it, and I have to paint the edges. Oh, pretty. Oh, nice. Nice. Yes. There's the flowers. Very nice. Thank you. Right, Liza, I knew there was a doc on uh, YouTube as well. Yes. Oh. Hi, Nana T. W.L. Julie W. Larky. How are you feeling, Deborah Swanky? How's your arm? She have a rotator cuff surgery or something, or shoulder surgery? Yeah, Danielle, she did. Oh, I hope she's okay. <clears throat> Thank you. Stuff. Thank you, Debbie D, and everybody. Thank hey, you, Sharon. Where's Debbie D? You should come up and do your craft. Let's see. Um. Debbie Schwinky. Um, oh, Debbie Schwinky. Yes, I did get something. I'm going to show that too. Deborah Schwinky sent me some more happy mail. Did she? Mm -hmm. And um, I know Sherry M. Here we go. Her napkins. Let me show. Um, I can show you my leg. Your leg? Is it horrible? Um, yeah, I would say oh. it's pretty bad. I'm eating a little so, something right now. <laughs> on second thought, I don't think I'll show you. Yeah, these, but, um, these are Sherry not. Mimsy. <laughs> Look at Sherry Mimsy did there. <laughs> not Mimsy, girl. I made a mistake. <laughs> Sherry M. What? I don't see her. Well, I did see her, but I'll no, they're her. on on YouTube. Yeah, it's taking a minute. There it is. Oh, on YouTube, gosh. Sherry Sorry. M. Yep. Let me get over here and look. Did you do Ooh, that with the fire, Sherry? Very nice. Those are really nice. I think she sent me something else too. Very pretty. Now, who's this from? Sherry M. Beautiful. 
<laughs> just kidding. There we go. And that's that the blue canvas? and white. You did very nice. Good job. What are you laughing for, Danielle? Because I was going to say I did them. <laughs> <laughs> I Dave Kavaj one thing. <laughs> that was that jar. Remember the jar? The, with the yeah, I do. I remember it. Yeah, that, that was pretty. I only did that, and it came out really good. Nice. That's it. These are nice. Nice, Sherry. No fire. Sherry did not do that with fire. It's a napkin. Calm down, Scooter, Kevin said. <laughs> I'll try. Oh, poor Debbie. Not you. I don't call you Debbie. You're a Scooter. What? He said, oh, poor Debbie. She said a nurse. It's a nurse is coming to her house, I guess, tomorrow. Tomorrow, nurse. To, hmm. Out of the drinks, or sleep? Sleep. It's sleep. Oh, look, there's your foster daughter. How do you get, do you have to get on a ladder to get to the top of those cabinets? Because I have to get on a ladder to get to the top of mine. Uh, well, I have a step stool yeah, well, that yeah. I get on. Yeah, I, that's what I mean, yeah. Yeah, um, but my husband's six foot two, mm -hmm. so he can pretty much, and he's got very long arms, so he can pretty much get up there. But I never, you know, I don't put anything that I need daily. In right, there yeah, for, yeah, 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 yeah. Sure. Mm -hmm. Okay, now I'm going, while that's drying, I'm going to work on the the fall shell i know i can't i don't even want to talk about this for i don't either. i know but they're already getting stuff out i know they're Halloween. you know what they're already sending me stuff for next easter to order no oh, cool the napkins what? they're like uh, time to order easter napkins and i'm like are you kidding me easter napkins what <laughs> mm-hmm Police. Well, that's how, how that's how it is, you know. And and if you work retail, they're already into like next spring. Oh, I guess so. Because mm -hmm. <laughs> you, you know, see? by October they're going to have all the Christmas up. Right. Mm hmm. It's nuts. <laughs> Sometimes I will start Christmas shopping. You know, I'll start thinking about it in. July, August. Um, Every time about... I do that, though, then I end up always doing them whatever it is. Yeah, right? <laughs> I always do that. It's like here. Yeah. Two... Yeah. Because then I figure if you, like, didn't and God forbid something happened, you'd be like, oh, my gosh, I should have given that to What the heck am I saving this for? <laughs> right? You know, I get like that all the time. I just, I get something and then I just want to show it to them or give it to them. And so that's why I'm not a good, you know, shop ahead person. This is true. Yeah. I do, though. I do shop ahead. And my daughter always wants Eternity perfume. Mm -hmm. And sometimes that's for sale oh. at a good price on Zoo Lily. Oh, okay. So. Gosh, you know, I, I, just, I haven't been on Zoo Lily in a while. Oh, I used to shop quite a bit on there, me but me too, me too. Me too. Not too much anymore. Me too. I don't think I ever shopped on there. I've seen it, but Oh, I was very hooked on it for a while. Oh really? Mm-hmm. Yeah. There used to be one when the when the boys were really little. It was called Mama Bargains or something, and it was all like baby stuff that was really cheap, and it would only be like one day thing, and you had to get in on it. Wow. Really? Mm-hmm. Yeah, they have the cutest baby stuff. And they do, the thing yeah. about them is, you know, they have stuff that you normally can't find mm -hmm. anywhere else. Right, yeah. 
like some high end stuff. Yeah, a lot too. of smock stuff for kids that it's hard to find. And yeah, when the grandsons Cole and Connor, when they were little, I used to get a lot of clothes for them on there. Hi, Captain Lee Pan. Oh my gosh, Kevin Leonard, you are going to be so jealous of this shell I'm, I'm doing. Get ready to be jealous, Kevin. I wish Sharon would come on and do a shell. I do too. Yes, Sharon. Yes, yeah, Sharon. It's she has that. such a calming... She I don't does. even think... Oh, there's Sharon right there. I don't even think if she tore a like napkin, she would be upset. You know, Sharon, I have to tell you something. You're going to love this. <laughs> you know the quilt that you made me? I slept uh, with I it used... last night for the first time, and I will the tell you, Sharon. One? Yes, I love it because she put this underside that's like a um, micro, whatever it is. But Sharon, you, I can yep. hold it a little bit, and it's like a like a security blanket. It's like the greatest thing ever. And I said, I have to tell Sharon. She's probably been wondering because it has been too hot, Sharon. So I didn't oh. put it on, but I I I slept with it for the first time last night, Sharon. And I said, oh, how lucky am I that Sharon made me this quilt and it's I can hold the inside of it. Oh my gosh. Mm. Coolest quilt ever. I love it Thank you, Sharon. Too. Sharon's talented. Mm-hmm. That was going to be my go-to quilt. Yeah. I love it. I just love the, the underside of it. What is that, Sharon? Is that microfiber or something? Come on, Sharon, call in and tell us. Scooter, you know, Scooter we... wants one now for the next yes. vacation. <laughs> what? What? You want Sharon to bring your quilt for the next vacation? Yes. <laughs> 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 Everybody wants little mini quilts, Sharon. Yes. Like lap quilts. <laughs> Any size. I love how Sharon always goes, oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's so cute, though. Oh. Oh, she, she was making the little shells talk, remember? Yes. Oh, you can't leave <laughs> this one here. This is his mother. <laughs> Sharon said she'll fly in and drive down with me. That underneath. Hmm. It's not like a fleece, though. It's like a, um, it's better than fleece. It's like a microfiber. Jeannie wants I can't to remember. Kevin said report to the panel, Sharon. Report to the panel. Report to the panel, Sharon. Many clothes. <laughs> We have to start getting ready for our next trip. If we book it real early, we might save a lot of money. And you get a quilt. And you get a quilt. Well, everybody gets a quilt. <laughs> for your 60th birthday? Oh, really? That's nice. It's a very nice fleece. It feels more like a microfiber, though, Sharon. She said it's a fleece. Stop I, it. Because <laughs> I have fleece for, like, Rocky and stuff, and it feels different than that, Sharon. It feels like a microfiber. Who has a question? Who has a question? Oh, Julie. Yeah. Yes, Julie. Question. Question. I was just taking a, a, a dinner break. I'm eating a little bit. Julie, if you're asking when I'm going to go finish my table, I will. I can't believe she took a break. Wow. <laughs> I know. Good break. Sheesh. That reminds me. I need to have my chocolate-covered banana. Oh. Nom, nom. Anything chocolate. Mm. I told you about them. I told you all about them. Um, oh, yeah. Now they're going to be sold out. Julie W. wants to know what kind of parchment paper. Oh, just regular, just, just some 
gosh, it just like uh, I think I got it at you know Walmart or might have even been the Dollar Tree. It's any type of parchment paper, or you can use freezer paper. Just don't use wax paper. Oh, yeah, because it has okay. wax and the wax will melt. Oh, let's these? see. Oh, uh, where'd you get those from again? Aldi's. Oh, Aldi's. I've got to go. Oh, to really? Aldi's. Yeah, I've got to go there. And they even had dark chocolate or milk chocolate. Really? This time. Yeah. How much I are they? I couldn't believe it. Have they went up a lot there, Janae, with like everywhere else? No, these were like two eighty nine. dollars Oh, that's for, out of steel. For five of them. That's oh. crazy. For five of them. That's crazy. And they're not skimpy with the chocolate either. They're covered with chocolate really nicely. Nice. Unbelievable. I'm going to have to go to Aldi and see if I have that. Yeah, I'm going to have to get there, too. Now, sure. they're, now, now they'll be all gone. <laughs> <laughs> That's how it always is. Yeah, but it's kind of a microfiber, sort of. But... You liked it so much. I'm glad. Yeah, I love it, Sharon. I'm like, who's luckier than me waking up in this quilt? It's just a banana. Relax, everyone. <laughs> you cannot eat bananas? Oh, Nana, really? Oh, Nana, and you have Nana in your name. Yeah. Oh. You've never had a travel covered banana, Mike? It is good, Mike. You should have oh one, Mike. Oh my gosh, you guys. Gertrude this... Hawk has them. Um, you can get them at Gertrude Hawk. They have them in the freezer there, but. Who? Gertrude <sighs> Hawk. Who in the heck is that? You don't know Gertrude Hawk, the travel company? Uh-uh. Oh. Nope. Sorry, that, I guess that must be like your, what is your chocolate guy there? Or you got, uh, what kind of chocolates? We have Albanese, we have Fannie Mae. Oh, Fannie Mae, must be like your Fannie Mae. Cool. I mean, I'm at the point now where I buy two or three boxes at a time. Might as well. They're so good. Yeah. $11 pound of bacon. You don't know who Gertrude Hawk is either, Nicole? Never heard of them. Sharon knows who they are. I don't know who that is. Never heard of it. You don't know Nicole? Um, why do I keep calling Danielle Nicole? I gotta stop this. Oh my gosh. You don't know Danielle? No. I keep calling her Nicole. Gertrude Hawk makes really good chocolate, Sharon says. Thanks, Sharon. Still don't know who it is. It's a thing. They are, Captain Lee. Groceries are going outrageous. Sky high. It's true. He's saying gas is going down? In it South is. Carolina, it is. What is it? It's 369, something like that. Hmm. It, it, but we, we always have cheaper gas here for some reason. I don't know why. Probably because we have to gas up our boats, too. Yeah, Debbie, I don't know why I'm calling you Deborah all the time either. That doesn't make sense to me and why I'm calling Danielle Nicole. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we all need to change our names. <laughs> yeah, my dad was just flipping yeah, out. Yeah, Sharon, Pennsylvania. What are you eating, Carolyn? I was eating a piece of pizza. Oh. Temporarily oh. using our reserve. Oh, okay. It's only temporary, Mike? How do you know, Mike? <laughs> <laughs> Mike knows. Mike, you know? way over five now it's 429 here which is still high yeah 
I think we're 417 maybe or something. Show us what you have, oh. Scooter. What are you working on? Well, wait, I'm putting, this is for Maddie. Order it's 389 there. I don't know what it is here. Not just Jimmy. Jimmy. <laughs> <laughs> I need an oil change too. Oh gosh, so do I, but I haven't even been out of the house. I haven't even used my car except to go from uh, at night to drive 200 feet away. That's it. Okay, so that's it. Oh, even mine is so bad that it's got the little wrench. Oh. oh. Janae, there's Elemen. Hi, Elemen. Hi, Elemen. Oh, hi, Elemen. Your... Elemen W. Look at these earrings. Such a good boy, Dizzy. Such a good boy. Okay, I'm going to go see what I'm doing. These are from you, LMNW. Oh, nice, Captain Lee. 302. Purple wow. ones. You got these for me. I really love them. We have the same taste in earrings. You shouldn't say that on the show because people that don't have those can feel, that don't have those, that'll make them feel bad. What? The earrings. <laughs> <laughs> well, they could have outbid LMNW. <laughs> Well, you snooze your wounds. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> In fact, I I was struggling to know which pair to wear because she's bought me more than one pair. All right, now he's just rubbing it in. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and she just likes me. I I can't help it. You're not bribing her or something. <laughs> Hi, Alicia. Be so. Liz Tops. Hi, Liz Tops. <laughs> Alicia, you don't even have a car? That'd save a lot of money. She doesn't need one. She has a beautiful house. <laughs> Janae, Kevin said, please don't earring brag on panel. <laughs> don't what? Uh, panel, don't earring, earring brag. <laughs> Carol about to go up and put another pair on. Carolyn Sharon said to tell you she has 5,000 miles on her three-year-old car. Oh, wow. Yeah, I don't have very many miles on my car either because I don't drive it all that much. But that's really good, Sharon. It's supposed to be like an average of 2,000 a month is average. So you should have about 10,000 on your car. So that's your really good. Your car is worth a lot of money. It's looking good, Carolyn. How are the seams? How does it look? What? How does it look? It's looking good. How does it look it up looks close? Good. I just have to wait for this to dry a little bit because I put it on the top so I can trim that off. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it looks good. It's 
Looks good. Looks, looks really good. Now come over and do my dresser. Yeah, I, I, I would. I'm going to do that other dresser. I'm hoping, I'm trying to figure out how I want it. If I want to do every draw a different thing just to make it look funky, like different flowers maybe or something. Yeah, that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to do the top and maybe the draw fronts. Mm -hmm. But I just, I have to pick out what, you know, like what it's going to be, like a napkin right. or something. I, I don't know which one to pick. That's, yeah, that's my thing. But I knew I wanted to do sunflowers on this. So. You know, and I, I can't disappoint Scooter because, you know, she thinks of the godfather when she sees my house. I do. I <laughs> like it. I have to, you know, go with the theme. Yeah, it has like that rich taste, that, that wood that looks so rich to me. Well, you know, I'm rich. <laughs> <laughs> I win. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> well, you know, I'm rich. <laughs> Y'all are bringing me such good luck tonight. This is unbelievable how these shells are turning out. Good. I mean, I hate to brag, but... But we know you like it. <laughs> <laughs> it's unbelievable. I, I need to do all of my shells on panel. Let me tell you, because this is some, I can't believe it. That's wonderful, Janae. Liz Tops is saying hello to Scooter and Carolyn. Hey. Hi, Liz. Hey. What's oh, up, Julie? Scooter. Julie's got another question. She's full of questions tonight, Julie W. Scooter, you doing dangerous fire? I am. <laughs> well, I'm holding it up. I'm a pyro. Scooter can do dangerous fire tonight if you want. Yeah. <sighs> Is that the what's in that? Is that little dolls in there? What's in there, Scooter? What's Harry in? Potter. Oh, Harry Potter. So you're you're, you're burning regular paper. Be careful, because I some lady told me you can't do paper. I'm doing it. Well, she said you couldn't. I'll tell you. Oh, I'll, you I'll, I'll send you to her channel. She said uh -oh. you can't do it. That's it. She uh -huh. was very stern, sitting in a very fancy chair. Really? Yes, and she was very fancier stern. Fancier than my chair. Very fancy chair, with yeah. fancy eyeglasses. <laughs> well, I don't know. It's, I'm doing it. Breaker, breaking rules. And she said, don't try this with paper. It's very, very bad. You can't do it with paper. She said, only with napkins or tissue. Really? That's what the lady said. You should go there and say, you, ma'am, are a liar. Because I'm doing great. it with paper. <laughs> I'm not seeing a problem with it. What do you guys think in the chat of my table? Loving it. Okay. Loving it. <laughs> Look at Janae. Carolyn. <laughs> the question was, do you have to put... Wait, now I've lost it. Um, she said, do you, do you well, need to... Debbie, they're wrong, Debbie Schwenke. They're wrong. It works. That's um, Julie's question. What do is it? To... So you don't need to put... My... Yes, I'm going to, but I'm going to put... Uh, well, I don't know. If I'm going to use some kind of medium on top, then iron it again, and then go with the um, sealer, which I think I'm going to use just the Dura Clear right now and the satin on this. But then you can use that poly. I'm going to find out the name of the other one. It's called, it's not polyurethane. It's, I'll tell you, it's polyurethane. Poly. Um, Sadly, I won't be able to stay on long because I need to get my clothes together. I need to take my bath. Oh, I know you're going on a hair. big trip. Scooter's going on yeah. a big trip, everybody. I need to blow dry my hair after I wash it. Did she get, um, what is she going to do about a stroller? Megan is jealous. Megan is jealous, Scooter. The suitcase, if she wants Is she going to use it? 
She said she's not, but oh. I, show, I told her I'll show her. Where did you get this? Did you see other people with a suitcase? No. Or did you just make it up? I made it up. Oh, <laughs> wow. Really? Yeah. Okay. Why? What's... I'm just wondering. That's all. I mean, it's something. I don't know. Okay. Why do, do you have a wagon? Okay. No, I wish we did. We used to. Do, and 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 Bonnie doesn't have anything like an old stroller or anything around. No, not anymore. No I wagon. Have like, I have like five strollers. A hand truck. Pink and yellow. I love yellow, Sharon. And I do love pink. I like pink, but Me I love too. yellow. You like yellow too? Holly Glycol, Kevin says. No. Oh, here, polycrylic is what it's called. It's the same thing I oh, made those polycrylic. glitter balls with. Polycrylic. Yes, that's it. I'll probably put polycrylic on there um, as a final. Oh, that'd be nice. Yeah, after I do the Mod Podge, then um, iron it again, and then I have to trim up as soon as that dries in the corner. Julie has another question. Oh, okay. Gail, Maddie loves Harry Potter, too. Holly Crillick. Right here, Sharon. Right here, Sharon. I made it for Maddie. Okay. I'm going to paint her um, all the edges. And that is? Give it to her tomorrow. What is it, Julie W.? What's your question? Wait, there's the Harry Potter shell. She said Goodwill Ooh. has a lot of strollers. Yeah, why don't you just stop at a Goodwill or something on the way or a Salvation I've Army? Had, I've already looked, guys, and the one here didn't have Did you look in I your wrote. marketplace? They'll always have a stroller or something. Well, it's too late. We go tomorrow. He said, what about the top oh, brick bags? What yeah. about the top of the fabric bags? Oh, the Dora, uh, the Dora clip, the, whatever it's called, Dora Clear, that you put on there. Or the waterproof Mod Podge. I like orange, Sharon. I didn't know I did. <laughs> I like yellow. Oh, she said you like oranges, the fruit. Oh. Fruit. The fruit. Sean Sneed's favorite color is pink. Oh, mine too. Me too. I'm trying to think about the other thing I wanted to do. Please don't stroller stress scooter. <laughs> She's got enough on her plate. Yeah, I guess. You're a proud Gryffindor, Sharon. I remember telling Maddie. That you really like Terry Potter. How far is your journey? Oh, it's just into uh, Rosemont, Illinois. And you've got to drive everybody? You're the driver? I'm not driving. No, we're going in Bonnie's um, vehicle, her SUV. Oh, okay. You're going to be the passenger? Yeah. Oh. Yep. yep. I'm going to put her in the trunk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I bet Maddie will drive, maybe. Really? Really, Sharon? Okay. Is Jack going? Yeah. Yes. That's what's so exciting. They're both going. Bonnie's husband isn't going, is he? No. No, he's not into that. Carolyn, what was the name of the primer that you put down first on the table? I watched the video, but I was stoned. Oh, it was just the uh, Folk Art Sheepskin Chalk Paint. And then I put the Mod Podge on it. Liz Topps' daughter loved Harry Potter. I know, Alicia. I wish you were going. <laughs> the paparazzi may, paparazzi may find you, Scooter. I know. That's why I don't give, want to give out the exact location, you know? Yeah. Well, yeah. But we'll, we'll dox you like crazy tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> I I think I'm going to be going to Galena, Illinois. Really? Galena? Have you ever been there? No, is Scooter? that where your friend is? We have been there for something, I remember. 
Yes. Oh, yeah. Galena is like uh, a resort city. Yeah. Is it? Yeah. Hmm. It's big time, uh, like a destination. Um, my um, my husband's daughter and her husband bought a... Um, what do they call they bought a house that they can rent out most of the year. They live in New York. Um, but they bought a house in Galena because um that's where they got married and stuff. And so um she's saving a couple weeks in August for family to come. Hmm. Yeah. Are, are we going to go to Galena? Airbnb. Airbnb. <laughs> hi, Janae's husband. John. John. Hi, John. Hi, John. Hi, John. Everybody's saying hi, honey. I've got my earphones on because I didn't want to wake him up because he was sleeping through his baseball game. Oh. Oh. Um, but everybody's saying hi to you, honey. Yes. Right, you must have been listening to me. The whole oh, the whole neighborhood can hear me. Oh. <laughs> well, that's good. They don't have to, have to pay for Netflix or anything. <laughs> that's always good. See... He's got hearing like a bat, and I, I can hardly hear, so. Right. Quite the problem. <laughs> <sighs> I'm sweating. i got to get back to my table, okay. I'm trying order to get the... Oh, Kevin, why don't you order your husband around? What? <laughs> Kevin said, order her husband around. <laughs> no one gets stuff from the top cabinet. Oh, yeah. I should have had him reach up there and demonstrate. She said you could reach it all. He can. He's amazing. I hate it. I have to get a ladder or a chair. You and me both, Danielle. Yes, yeah, Scooter, how do you reach your cabinets? On my tippy toes. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes I have to get a chair. Oh my gosh, I'm having problems. With your shell? Uh, I'm trying to separate this napkin. Oh, get it's... a piece of scotch tape. It's <sighs> the easiest way to do it and go right in the corner. Oh, I got. But it's, it's round, it's a pumpkin. I know, but it'll still help you um, separate All right. it. Right. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Okay, so I've got to go and... Let me see here. <laughs> Kevin, I wish. Yeah, Kevin, I have that because I'm rich. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got it. Okay, let me see here. Where'd you go, Carolyn? I'm right here. I was just answering an email. Okay, and Sherry, 
Let me see. I think I showed all your stuff here. Yeah, don't don't leave me and Scooter in charge of this. Well, Danielle's here too. Or, or Danielle. We'll she have knows the what place she's on doing. Fire. Well, yeah, if Danielle's here. We'll be okay. Yeah. All right. No pressure. <laughs> Hmm. I'm still getting um, emails from the uh, South Carolina Tourism Commission. Are you? Mm-hmm. They have bingo nights over there. It's tonight. Tonight is uh, is the last one for the summer. Really? Yeah, Already? and it's still bingo night. Yeah, at the uh, Lions Club. I guess because they probably start back to school back there, so probably uh, another time to go is probably. Maybe in like September too, when it's still nice, and even in October, it's probably still nice down there. Oh yeah, right, right. We're still boating in October. Yeah. Bet I bet. Um. Here, guys. See, all the catalogs are coming out. For, I'm telling you, Janae, all coming out for the 2023 spring. Spring. All, all bunny stuff. Wasn't that crazy? Janae. Wow. What? I know she's annoying, Janae. What are my eyes seeing? That looks Harry like Potter. Elvis. Harry Potter. Harry Potter. Oh, okay. Where did you get him from, Scooter? That same magazine. Oh, really? Yeah. Thanks, Nana T. That's really good, Scooter. Yeah, he's Ashton Drake. Cool. Thank you. The colors know. are beautiful. I didn't oh, know they made an Ashton Drake um, Harry Potter. Scooter, I didn't know that. Yeah, she does. Really? She knows everything about it. No, I said I didn't know they made an Ashton Drake Harry Potter. Oh, oh. Yeah, he was in here from a couple of years ago. Oh. Well, Carol, Lucy was, Carol Lucy was freaked out that you were cutting out that book. <laughs> right? I know. It, it, it was freaked her out. She's like, no, you're ruining it. I know. I guess maybe they don't get catalogs like that over there or something. I guess not. I guess not either. What number, Sharon? It's in general from earlier. Yeah, it's in there, Sharon. Call in. Thanks, Mike. Thanks, Debbie. Call in. Sh Mike, Thanks, you sent Debbie. me. Mike sent me pictures. Oh, Sharon. Mike, is there? Sharon, the, is this real, Mike? This looks like the, from the Little Rascals. Mike's any Mike, am I allowed to show these? What is this? Or is this just for me? Mike's showing me his family photos, but I think who's this little kid, Mike? I thought that was a little rascals. This isn't you, Mike, is it? I'm lost. Maybe it is Mike as a oh, little no, kid. Oh, no, I think it's Whisper to Me as a little kid. Am I allowed to show it, Whisper to Me? Oh, uh, really? Ask Whisper to Me if I'm allowed to show it. Yeah. Is she there in the chat? Yes. She says I'm allowed to show it? Um, well, she hasn't exactly said. Hi, Barb Schreiber. I thought it was from the Little Rascals.
Did anybody go to the Elvis movie besides me? No. I haven't yet. I haven't seen the new one, no. Did you, you saw it? Oh, yes. Was it good? Good? Phenomenal. Really? Oh. Am I allowed so to show good. this whisper? Hey, guys. She said yes. Hi, Sharon. Hi, Sharon. Hi. Hi, hi, hi. All right. Hi, this Sharon. is whisper as a little kid. Um, what? You got whispered to me as a little child. Oh. Hold okay. on. Let me get on YouTube. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to get on YouTube, too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hold on. Hold on. That's one, but I've got more, and I've got to get back to them. Oh, how cute. How adorable. <laughs> oh. Who is that? That's Whisper to Me. Oh, oh that's watermelon. so cute. Look at that. Oh, I thought it was blueberry pancakes she was holding up. <laughs> oh. Adorable. That is cute. Oh, my gosh, Whisper. <laughs> Kevin. What did Kevin say? Sharon, don't oh, thanks, Kevin. Or I'll be sure to at you. Just looking out. I'll for be you. careful. <laughs> I'll be careful, Kevin. Definitely. Hey, he's not lying. <laughs> Sadly. I'll be good. I thought I was a loud one. <gasps> oh. Damn. Yeah. Dollar, dollar, dollar. All right, let me see. Here. It's adorable whisper to me. That is cute, isn't it? Yes. Do you ask her if I'm allowed to show the family photo? Give me how much is, is that gas? you as a little baby? Oh. Don't yeah, oh, Danielle wants to know how much gas her. is. She wants to know how much gas is. How much gas? 459. How much is it here? Where's 459? 459. Wow. Oh. Everybody's saying it's three something where they are. Uh, yeah, where uh, I am. Let me check with Mike. I'm Can she show the whole family whisper? Hey, Mike. I love this little baby sitting there. Is that you, the baby? I love the expression on the baby. Yeah, I love her hair. My goodness. I know. Whisper to me that one with the side piece. Oh, Almost right. like okay. Elvis's Thanks. hair. What'd she say? Nothing yet. Huh. Let's see. The T, where are you? It's seven dollars. Can I show a whis whisper? Oh, she said, sure, I wasn't born yet. My sister and baby oh. brother, she wasn't born yet. That's your oh. baby brother? I love the expression on that baby's face over there. I'm not seeing that yet. Yeah. Wow. That's a, is Let's that Canada? I want watermelon now. <laughs> oh. Oh, how cute. Canada. Okay, yeah, Canada. Canada. the baby's face. That reminds me of Luke has pictures like that. Yeah. I love that little face like Aww. that. Aww. That's a nice family. <gasps> yeah. Nice. Oh, I think y'all look like your dad. At least from this angle. Not that dark hair, okay. though. Dollars in Canada. Wow. I love the picture whisper. Very nice. And you weren't born yet? Whisper's not in that? No. no. Mm -mm. Not yet. They should, Mike. That'd be perfect by the watermelon. Good, Mike. Is that grandma in the fancy shoes? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, like, yeah. Okay. Yeah. 
How were you not born yet if that's your baby brother, though? I know. I was just thinking the same thing. <laughs> she caught you in a lie. No. Baby. Yeah. No, but I call my brother my baby you brother, and he's liar. 13 years older than me. Because <laughs> he's the babyest brother of the brothers, you know? Yeah. 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 Oh, now Debbie Swanky is showing baby pictures. <laughs> oh. I guess okay. so. <clears throat> to be swanky. She says no before my time. Well, we're going to need proof of that whisper. I'm sorry. Mike says good point. Yes, Peter. yes. <laughs> Very cute whisper. <clears throat> Carolyn. Yes. You said that I probably wouldn't get mad if I ripped a knee. I actually did rip a napkin two days ago. But you didn't go like put it back together. cursing and like screaming and throwing it. No, I, I just kind of put it back together and hoped yeah, for the best. Yeah, that's what I figured. She's like, oh, yeah. I'll fix it. It'll be okay. <laughs> Tell me it wasn't a beach napkin. <laughs> it, yeah, it was uh, so, one of the snowman ones. Oh, really? And I'd cut off half of his hat, so it was a really tiny piece, and I had to put it in there, and what, it was sticky. What do you think of my table? But I, oh, boy. I like the I table. I know. finish it. But are you putting a waterproof thing on top yes, of it? Yes, yes, I am. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that, yeah that I've got to get great. the waterproof stuff. I guess I could just go to Hobby Lobby or one of those places and get it. Mm -hmm. Maybe even does Walmart have it? Oh yeah. What is she gonna do? What kind? Of, what kind? Oh of okay. That's waterproof. Like a, yeah, there's waterproof mod podge or there's the uh, varnish. I think I put on it. Yeah, put on something like. You know, I, mean, I know what repels water, but it's like a, a tongue wall. But I've got to finish. How many that napkins out. did you use? Um, one and a quarter. Wow! Really? Really? Huh? Because no, my tables. About that big, but it's got a, a, a shelf down below. Yeah, well, this has a drawer. You have to do that so too, then. Oh, it, okay. Well, yeah, mine has a shelf, and so I'm going to do both. Right. And I wanted to put a heavy-duty whatever on top of it. Hopefully, it works. She's got a big napkin, too, Sharon. They work money. Once you beat them, what? it's not good anymore. Janae, what was that? What? Huh? She's yeah, got a big you know, napkin. Oh, you know. Want stuff you know. The oh market. yes, yes. But I think that the ones I have are pretty big too. Well, I mean, That'll be good it. then. I mean, yeah, but if you have like a really expensive antique, you don't want to do that. Hey, tell Jimmy to get a rower instead of lifting weights. He won't destroy his shoulder again. She said, "Get a rower instead of lifting weights." Did Luke wash his hands after the movies? A roller. Yes, and then the boys can use it too. Lifting weights. It exercises eighty-four percent of your body. Only you get the concept too. You can't kill it. You just can't destroy it. I mean, no lift weights. I'm back. here. Jimmy says it doesn't do your chest. <laughs> oh, well, listen to Kevin. We don't need to compare napkin sizes, ladies. And if you have money, you want to hmm. not destroy your shoulders, get like a smith machine, like we have out there. And then we got the big money I paid for, honey. Set me on. Mm -hmm. <laughs> No, but I didn't pay any money for it. Mm. But it's Smith machine. I need to amuse Kevin. Yeah, Smith machine is much uh, easier on your body than you then try to squat with it and everything. Well, it's not like is, is 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 Jimmy talking to me? Yeah, I, I was talking about a Smith machine, uh, like a, a rower. Uh, it's just mostly it's going to make you do your arms, little, your legs, and your back mostly. You'll do your back. Your pulling is your lats and stuff, which is you know, part of your back. Not That's your, right. Not your spine part, but like you know, your back. You're talking about your lats. But yeah, you're not gonna you're not gonna get like bulging biceps, but yeah. 
yeah, nonetheless, you, you, you no still chest, exercise. Chest. No, you no chest mm-hmm. also. Yeah, so not a chest also. But yeah, well, <laughs> so nothing would change there. Max, I'm going to be. Yeah. I don't know though. You should see some of these rowers. They look good. I bet you they I'm do other things. You. Though. I'm sure they do something for to you know to, to work you know work in the front of their body. They run. Like about they do some. They do some weight kettlebell type thing. Well, you know what the best the, the kettlebell. Yeah, that's good. But, yeah, that's good. We have some of those. Mm-hmm. those too. But if like a Smith machine is much safer than free weights and, and, and uh, you know, my, like I have friends that power lifted in the past with me and now they're, they're hurt. I mean, they, they're not going to ever get back to that. And they have a Smith machine at home and they do bench presses with that. It's like, a, mm. it's like on a guided, it's like on a guided, like a track almost is what it seemed like. You can do squats. Yeah. Like it's very safe. It's, you know, you know, it's easy to get, can't get stuck on you, you know, and it looks yeah. like a weight with that. Yeah. So anyway, there's that. But if you, if you were to get the concept too, and your boys used it, by the time they got to college, that would be the cheapest tuition you ever spent. Okay, because oh, they would be able to go out for crew. Oh, for, for rowing there and all, yeah. Oh, they give scholarships for that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. The, the all they all they're interested in right now is fishing and basketball. Well, Luke's interested in basketball. Mm. And so that gets Luke out there. I mean, it gets Ethan out there sometimes, but Luke is stuck on fishing and basketball. That's it. Yeah, but it's going to get cold eventually. Yeah, he 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 shot bas- baskets. He played basketball in the, in the winter. I mean, in, inside in the school on a school team. So he. Uh, mm-hmm. Yeah, no, I think he, maybe it's not the. I forgot when they do that. Yeah, it is before soccer, I guess. I don't remember, but, but yeah, but he, so he's on cross country now. Then he'll do basketball, and all, otherwise he just wants to fish. Yeah, you know, he sees a little pond. Yeah. Like, Dad, I wish I had a fishing rod. I just stop, run over there, and throw a couple, throw a hook out there a couple times. See if there's anything in there. You know, just drive yeah. down the road. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, My grandsons love to fish. They are really good at fishing too. Yeah. Jimmy, so I'm my not. brother Jimmy, my brother loves fishing too. Okay, oh, hey, it's not a competition. Yeah, my brother, yeah, <laughs> my brother-in-law. Um, no, my grandkids like a, are the best. <laughs> but yeah, my brother-in-law, he's uh, uh, you know, he did it for a living after he, he uh, retired, sold his business. Not retired, but he sold his business, and he and they lived down there near in clear near Clearwater, and he would he would, he was a fishing guy, you know, little captain in a little boat. He would take one or two guys out. And it'd be like six hundred dollars a day, like three hundred dollars for the morning, three hundred dollars for the afternoon. Oh yeah, yeah, and uh, you know he had rules: no drinking on the boat, and, and uh, you know, but but people he knew where to go, he knew how to fish, he, he did it so much. Nice. I mean, yeah, but you know when I when I met him, he had he he, he had a job. He worked at uh, all day yeah. started at all day or a starter shop that we built all day for the for the, um, the the county and the city and all that, and. Uh, and so uh, he um, he started sweeping the floor when he first started working at it. And but he wasn't he was rebuilding all ladies when I saw him. But he wound up buying the place, owning it. Oh, but, but that's yeah. And then he sold it, and he, he bought a boat, and he uh, was a fishing guy. But he he, uh, he would just he'd go down the road, and he had a fishing rod in the back of his truck. He had it all set up. He just stop. Oh, I'm gonna I'm, I'll be right back. He run out there and throw throw the line out in the you know, water a few times. Nothing happened. He come back and get in the truck and drive on. You know, he does that all the time. He's driving down the road. Yeah. And my drummer, that he, the, my drummer used to play he play music with. He was the same way, exactly. Just stop and have to run out there, you know. So I could see Luke being like that, like that also. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not like oh. I don't know. I, I fished, but I don't know how to. I don't really know much about it. I don't. Oh, I used to fish, but, but I had a little rubber fish about an inch big on the end. And I guess you're supposed to take it off when you go fishing. But anyway, I, all I want to do is cast it out and reel it in, cast it out and reel it. And my husband yeah. put a bait on it. You know, it was like, yeah. what you do that for? Casting. Yeah, there you go. Right. <laughs> well, that's the most fun. I don't like it. I don't want to one. <laughs> no, yeah. I, was, I didn't want to hurt it. I didn't want to. No, I didn't want to catch a fish. And then I ended up catching a stupid fish. <laughs> Oh. And so, 
<laughs> I think about like my my dad, like he, he would show me a lot of like, how to play the guitar and things like that out of you know uh but we never mm-hmm. fixed. Yeah. <laughs> Julie has a question on the kind of mod podge. Okay. Uh-huh. Do you want me to take that? Yeah, sure. Sure. Um, well, let me see here. I'll, I'll defer that to Scooter. Mine's the same as Kevin's. It's white. <laughs> um, I, I guess Aileen's is the best. One hey, of, these are the deco art uh, napkin decoupage is very good too. Oh. Or the aliens. I have this. Aliens. Yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. Okay. I have this. I'm yeah. using this one, yeah, right now. Well, this is gloss finished, but it's aliens. Yeah. Right. I have right now, yeah, aliens. <laughs> So I'm going to spray it. Oh, Carolyn, that's looking really, really good. Oh, my Thanks. gosh. And Julie, Doug, are you? This is the deco art for napkins. Oh, yeah. you for fabric. But oh, I, okay. She There's wants to know what you use underneath, and yeah. you can't use the same on top as what you use under it, or you'll paint the, paint the napkin. Yeah, so so it's, fabric, it's whatever um, color you want underneath, and then it's clear on top there oh that's more i tell you what i have but it's not up here it's downstairs so kevin kevin what kind do we have she's always got to have her stuff with kevin you notice that scooter yes i've noticed what kind well, they have? they've got to be like a little team oh yeah you know. i guess mm. they're bff we can't be in their team uh-uh you can like he knew all game. about Sharon's quilt, remember? What? Remember yeah, he knew, I know. He knew all about Sharon's quilt. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We were yeah. fine when we were she talking about She didn't call any of us quilt. to help on her quilts. You know that? Yeah. No, but somebody had to keep me going, and it was Kevin. They had, had a whole thing going, going Sharon. Okay. Okay. He, he right. just kept telling me, you, keep, you can do it. Keep going. And I kept going. Were you really sewing that before you left? Oh, yeah. Are you sewing oh, right yeah. now? I'm going to ask that. Are you sewing? No. Right now? I hear a machine. No. I know. It's the fan. My fan's rattling, and I don't oh, know how to make it. Oh, it sounds like you're sewing like a fiend. Yeah, I thought the same thing. Oh. <laughs> sounds like you're sewing like crazy. If like my Sharon. sewing machine wow, were that loud, I'd oil it. Yeah. No, no, no. no my <laughs> sewing machine's actually very quiet. Picture like all this fabric going in there. She's going yeah. to it's <laughs> I'm I'm making a um postage stamp quilt right now. Really? Which means every yeah. piece is you as big show as a us. Why don't you ever stamp. show us, Sharon? Why are you always so stingy with showing us? Well, because it's it, I just started it. Well, it's can not we like see I the have fabric? a lot done. I don't know what it's, it looks like. It's a like. variety of fabrics. <laughs> We see it. I don't have it right here. Oh, but I'll sh- I'll take a picture. I'll put it in the thing. But you know, I I it's it's just a all different fabrics. You don't want to use. You want to use all your scraps. Is what you want to use because they're all like an inch and a half each. And by the time you're done sewing the square, they're an inch each. Each oh, one's you're an inch. kidding. That's where you get postage no. stamps? Right. Wow. Oh, my gosh. That's crazy, Sharon. Yeah, I know. Oh, um, you know, freaking each. believable. Everybody has to make one at some sweetie. time, I think. Hi, sweetie. So I'm making one. I wish you'd be wow. I was going to make it with half square triangles. I'm making it. I still might add half wow. square triangles to it. I can't decide. When you said postage stamp, I was envisioning, you know, stamps of the world or something. No, no, you know? the size, the size, it's the 
size of the uh, square. Oh, my gosh. That's crazy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it'll take thousands. That's why, you know, but it's something that, you know, you can do and work on something else in between. Sure. Gosh, I'm sorting. Yeah, but I start out with an inch and a half wide fabric, and then I you cut it to an unbelievable wide, and And then by the yeah, it's an inch when you're done with each square. Inch, well, no, because you take a quarter off each side, so that's the half right there. So yeah, they're an inch each. Yep. Because your seams are a quarter inch, and they got to be really accurate, or your quilt will look oh, all wonky. That throw everything off, then I suppose. Yeah, and only a little bit will throw it off because they're so little. So you got to be pretty accurate. So no drinking while you do it. <laughs> <laughs> Debbie Goldman, yeah. Yeah, lots of projects. That's right. I have what's called a fable, Fabric Acquisition Beyond Life Expectancy. Uh, fable. Yeah. Uh, but I don't. I need more. Just like shells, Sharon. Just like shells. Mm -hmm. Just like shells. You always need more. Well... Kind of. The shells are kind of free, and fabric isn't. So, that's well, shells aren't really free when you've got to go somewhere to get them. Yeah, mm, that's true. Uh, Fair point. What? Yes, I love fabric. I had one. Couldn't I have one that I just already? Yeah. yeah. What's wrong with them? <gasps> Why? I thought they were brand new. Yeah, Debbie Goldman, you can't throw out your scraps. You have to keep them. I do have a fabric addiction, but we're not going to talk about that. <laughs> no, let's not. Yeah. No, let's not talk about addictions. I'm gonna come over here. Yeah, my stash is nothing compared to some people. Over here. Over here. Some people have so much. Anybody yeah. has fabric scraps, you feel free to mail them to me. I'll be happy to accept huh. them. Hmm? I mean, so. they got to be at least an inch and a half. That's all I ask. Is that all you need? No. Tiny fabric scraps? Hmm? You need tiny fabric scraps. Yeah, you can't touch your little fabric scraps. Sharon. I'm going to go, guys, so I can uh, okay, get scooter. my stuff together and everything. All right. I'll be watching, though. All right. Okay. All right. Love you guys. Bye, Scooter. Bye. 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 See you later. Be All good. Right. All right. Good. Oh, look. An oyster shell. That's a pretty one. That's what I want. A bunch of them. Well, that's what I want to do. <gasps> oh my gosh. I was supposed to send you shells, Sharon. Oh my gosh. Oh, yeah. That's right. It's hmm. it's it's on my list. I wish I could find some more of these. I love these pots and they're so easy to take the pots. You're all done. All right now. I'm gonna put this lab on this. Get your get your stuff. How many milligrams did they give you, Debbie? Of hydrocodone. Be safe, oh, Scooter. Kevin said. Yeah, be safe. Don't fall. Well, how do you put that on that on that? flower pot it has deep grooves do you it's use like a large paintbrush or something easy it's oh, so I'm watching. Easy. you should 
highlight it so that we can see it up close and personal. Um, all right, yeah. let me just cut this a little bit and we'll do that. Oh, fancy scissors, but I don't know what color. No, I can't find my Are you just letting your table dry now, Carolyn? Yeah, the, yeah, because I put on the little top coat and then I will go back over. Oh, cool. If you make little notches, that'll do it too. And then you fold the fabric, or not the fabric, the napkin over itself on the bottom. Right. Just go in with little, just little pieces. Calm down, Kevin. There. Yes, calm How's down, Kevin. For the love of God. <laughs> <laughs> Who is this with the, the with the cute little long haired doxy? That's, that's Danielle. That's what I thought, but she doesn't even have a dog. Yeah, it's at my mom's house. It's my mom, my parents' dog. Oh, okay. It's our dog. Okay. It's kind of stuck and all. Like, I'm, like, I'm, you know, greasy, like, and all that. It's really. a cute dog. Because it work right now. And it, it started working better, so I saved it. I put it in with the kids. On, on the, mm -hmm. and, the kids and it didn't seem to work. It works for heavy stuff anyway. It's a little bit off on uh, the, the lighter ways. Oh, yeah. But you would say, I want to know if the fish is three pounds, but you don't know if it's two it was probably say two or four, you know, whatever. Mm -hmm. and, uh, but the other one there seems okay too. Mm -hmm. And then there's another one I threw away because I he was, he was stalking. Oh boy. Mm -hmm. Hey Jimmy, see. look up Dark Horse Rowing on YouTube okay. and watch watch him. Watch him. Dark Horse Rowing. Dark Horse Rowing? Dark Horse. horse. Right. Dark Horse. H O R S E, dark horse. Oh, I doxed the dog. You're right. I don't dog. Know. <laughs> Just ask for forgiveness, Sharon. I'm so Look sorry. You doxed the doxy. The doxing. Dark, <laughs> dark horse rowing. I see it. Yeah, it says his workout program, 20 minute beginner program for rowing and all. And yes. Yeah, so I see it. Yeah, okay. watch, watch him. You'll get an idea and you'll say, oh. You will. you say, oh. I mean, I, I mean, like, I'm sure the results are really, really good. Oops. But I'm like, I'm like, well, you keep at it. when I get going, okay. I have, I, I'm Hold a heavy Hold on, I have a little, so I have a little accident. It's okay. I'm uh, going to fix it, though. You know, I don't like machines. I like the heavy free weights. You know, I'll just pull that away so. and then I'll add well, a little Well, it's, it's, it's only a machine a in the sense okay. that, uh-oh. It's okay. I just saw that. Okay. It's okay. I'll fix anyway, it. Anyway, it'll You'll fix. See. Oh, there you go. those little bees on Free, free. You'll see. I'll, I'm fine. Uh, it'll be okay. Anyway, Jimmy, um, it, it's, it, it, the, it's not a machine. It is a machine, but it's not. It's not like you flip a switch and it goes. You have to make yeah, it. Yeah, I know. Yeah. And all the Olympic rowers, all the high schools or all the schools, that colleges, they all have the concept, too. They all have the same one. And it's made in the U.S. not far from you, I don't think. Jimmy, could you give me one of those um, gloves, those clear plastic gloves? I need a clear one. Thank you. I can put this here and I can smooth it out. Whoa. Yeah. But it's all over the world. Oh, there you just did some more off of there. I know, but it came off really nice. Okay? See, I like it. I like it. Yeah, it looks good. It came yeah. off there and I'm gonna and I'm gonna put the little piece on there when that dries. You need but I just want to smooth that put out. The scissors next to it so it won't roll. Oh yeah. There, there are go. no mistakes in decoupage. No, it's a happy accident. Yes. Just sh shove the blade of the scissors over there and it will, will stop rolling on you. I did. But you may can I one of those things? Yes. Oh, okay. Thank you. Yeah, I just want to say, so what I did was really, really good for you, too. You know, I played, it, it wound up keeping me in good shape for playing basketball with my kids and all, and it's, it's called just powerlifting is what it's called. 
and you know, you oh, yeah. Stuff. yeah. So I mean, yeah, I hurt my shoulders, but it's because if you don't listen, like sometimes, you know, I kind of think I'm the man, you know, I don't have to warm up because the man. So you were listening. Yeah. Yeah, probably, yeah. So, I mean, like I, I don't, I don't have to warm up like everybody else because I'm the freaking man, you know? Oh, yeah. I see. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm, I'm I, do this. I could do this. I could do that. And I, because I'm the man. Oh, sure. Yeah. And yeah, I I guess, I'm the same way. But guess yeah, what I'm, I did? No, I'm, work. I'm not like I ripped my bicep right off the bone. No. <laughs> yeah, you know, I mean. And that I, hurt. I, I can imagine. Yeah, yeah like, I'm not like that yeah. anymore. I, I do not want to, you know, I'm the man. I'm the old man, you know. And, uh, yeah, I got I, 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 I am too. I am too easy. female, but. If you were around, like if you're around powerlifters and you start lifting with master lifters, like over forty, you know that's the you know who I would lift with and compete against. Well, I compete yeah. against them all, but I mean that would be a you know my my, my um, you know my my crew is that age, and, and and they tell you like always start off light on your cycle, you know whatever you're gonna have a cycle to work up to a meet. Start out lightweight, go in the gym there, and don't worry about people looking at you. You only bench ninety five pounds because if they want to look, let them look and. Uh, and in a couple, couple like in 16 weeks to see you then when you're like, you know, grinding out hundreds and so pounds. And so, so I, I never was the kind of worried about who was looking at me also, but I, I but. did, my friends, I did want to act like I was all strong and act like everything was light, you know? And I don't, yeah, of course. I don't do that anymore, you know? And it, <laughs> it, 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 well, yeah. because how many times have you had that shoulder fixed now? Couple Three? Times. Are you on your third fix? It's, it's actually, yeah, yeah, well, well, the, it was the, the second time, but, but I've done it a long time ago and rehabbed it myself. Never, you know, I had surgery also, and, 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 you know, um, many years ago because, and that was clearly because I'm the man, you know, of so course. somebody making a bet about something and I didn't even warm up, you know. Yeah, Debbie. Yeah, there it goes. I know. I didn't warm up either shoulders. and there went my bicep. And let me tell you, it hurts when it tears off the bone. I can't imagine. I can't it, imagine. It that. does. It sounds yeah. like cellophane. It really does. Yeah, man. Oh, wow. Yeah. It doesn't sound like yeah, anything. It doesn't sound like anything when the uh, rotator cuff tears. You know, I, I couldn't hear. I guess I was. No, sleeping. mine oh, never no. made any sound either. But when the bicep did, I can imagine. Yeah, yeah. Probably because yes. my ears right near it, right? Yeah. So, uh, although it's no further away than your bi- than your uh, rotator cuff. Yeah, but, but I had still, a slant tear. You I don't think your rotator cuff is as uh, is as thick and big as your like your bicep tendon there, you know. Yeah, and, uh, yeah, it's pretty big. He it's, gave it a new location. He had to change it. Yeah, mine too. Mine. He put. He took my because his bicep. There's two of them. One of them goes up to around your collarbone somewhere, and the other one goes around to your, you know, uh, uh on, your, on back on your ulnar. Right? To, to your shoulder, shoulder, basically. He, yeah, yeah, he, he, took he, that one. he put he a new spot one. for it. Yeah, he yeah. put mine. He took mine and put it with the other one. Okay. Oh, weaved it in. They weaved it in with the other. Just kind of, yeah. They they just weaved it in the other tendon, and and, you know. Yeah, they use a special screw screw to do it. Yeah. They 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 used to use a screw, and he said people would have pain right where the screw was. You know, about at least ten ten people. So he said we don't do that anymore. But but he used uh, like so he weaved it in to my muscle. But this other this the uh, rotator cuff, they used a calcium screw. You know, to, uh, oh, I guess it's. I have that going on in my right arm right now. I have a big piece of calcium right under my rotator cuff, uh, sawing away at it. And I'm like, yeah. no, 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 no. Yeah, they, oh, yeah, they, you got to get it cleaned out. Got to get it cleaned out in there. Yeah, Listen, no, I don't want to. Sure. Yeah. I don't want to. Ugh. Well, as long as you can quilt. Oh, it doesn't hurt do that, that bad. Well, until you have to actually quilt the quilt, then it's bad. Then like it's Carolyn's bad. quilt was, well, it was heavy. You know, think about yeah. just putting it underneath your needle where you got all the rest of the quilt hanging off. And well, so you've got to, yeah. you know, you got it like over your shoulder in your lap, you know, everywhere you can put it. And yeah. yeah and then, then you got to pull it back and start over. So, yeah, it's heavy. It's best done in the winter because if you're a little bit cold, you'll stay warm doing it. Yeah. But do you slept under that quilt? You thought it was warm. Oh, yes. I love yeah. that purple quilt. Which one, the purple one? Yeah. 
Huh? The one that Sharon made me. Is that the one that's the purple one? Yeah. Oh, that is a beautiful book. I like it. Thank you. Oh, when she, when I first saw it, I, oh, I like it. I'm glad you got it. Yeah, I'm just, you know, so, yeah, that's really nice book. So you know what the heck that's you're doing. It's called A Trip Around the World. That's what it's called? Oh. Huh. A Trip Around the World, only it's made out of tumbler shapes instead of squares. Yeah, that, yeah, this thing is, that was really nice. You know what you're doing. Good job. Thanks. I got a good house here, too. Yeah, so, uh, Debbie Goldman, oh. mine is literally a screw. But anchors are different. Anchors are different. They're sim the screw is similar to an anchor, but it's really heavy duty to put your bicep back. And then it's called anchors. Everything else is an anchor. Yes. No fun, that's for sure. But she's only on her stuff only every six hours, which I think is terrible. Torture. I and hope there's they... lots and lots of names of quilts. Hmm? You hope what? Oh, you live in the villages? Oh. That's cool. I want to go to the Sisters Quilt Show, but it's in Sisters, Oregon. Yeah, Flo, oh. it's funny how that happens. I know. I hope Penny is my number one fan. It's okay. I have not seen Henny in a while. You know, I, hope I don't know okay. where. Yeah. Penny, are you okay? Penny. Woohoo. That's cool, De Debbie Schwenke. I, I would love to <gasps> go to a quilt show like that. I've been to quilt shows, but I'd like to go like one outside like that. Oh That's my hell! What happened? What happened? What happened? I just ruined my shell. Let's see. Maybe you did it. No. Let's no, I did. You said you can't make mistakes. Oh, let's see. Show us. Except when you ruin it right on the writing. I ruined it. It was a gnome. <laughs> Where? Well, and well. It's, it's supposed to say it be, this. Let it be, and you can always add a piece in there. Or pull it all off oh, yeah. and get another piece off the napkin because yeah. there's more than one. Yeah, this was so perfect, though. I know. Leave it. Let it try. Oh. It'll be fine. I'm telling you. It'll, all right. it'll be okay. Let me see. It's not a very big napkin. It's a happy accident. It's little. Yeah, you can add that little piece of writing. You'll piece it in there. Yeah, you can. I, I right. did a piece about that big on my, it was my snowman's hat. Half a hat I had to repair. Half came off and half stayed. Okay. All right. I'm going to so, You can do it. Just get I'm some tweezers and to set it on there really carefully. I should have done that. Well, I'm going to try it. 911 for napkin emergency, Kevin. That's right. Disney for adults. Oh, wait. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Do you have a pass for Disney World, an annual pass, Debbie? Since you live there? Problem solver you are. See that? He's a uh, Yoda. Mike is Yoda. My son kissed. 
how to get the old writing off. Nice, Debbie. Do you have the Florida annual pass or the regular annual pass? We used to have an annual pass, and I live in Michigan, and I'd get about a month a year out of it, which is pretty good. It Price-wise, the break-even point was nine days, and we would go for 14 days at a time, so... Wow. Sharon, what do you do with your quilts once you get them made? I mean, do you just like give them to ramblers or no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I, I do just... give them away. I do. I Mike's I made Mike one, so that's on our bed and he sleeps under it every night. Oh nice. Um I have another one for our bed that I haven't finished yet. It's it's a work in progress. It's, yeah. It's, it's, everything's done. I just have to sew all the squares together. Um, the churn dash. So, yeah, but I haven't finished it. I have other ones that I, I'm kind of like um, ADD about it. Like I'll do something for a while and get tired of it, and then I'll do something else, and I'll go back sure. to the other one. So, yeah. In the seventies, Kevin, oh, it's changed a lot. Uh oh. Um, would you, would you guys like to see what I've accomplished so far? Sure. All right. Not quite dry yet. I'm not capable of making wall size quilts for some reason. I, I they all turn out like Carolyn's big. I make them as I make them bigger or bigger than that even. Very nice today. I like I that. Can, didn't see it yet. I'm on a. Oh, I wanted a pink delayed. shell. I like it. Thank oh, you. Pink, oh, that's yeah, so like pretty. It. Yes. <laughs> That's pretty. I and like that one a lot. Here's the fall shell. Very nice. That's very nice. I like that flower one. Those are the kind of shells I need right there. Yeah, these are much easier. Yeah, they're because they've got a nice size. To and then just here's on. a little pumpkin shell. Oh, oh how cute. cute. A little I put it in a pumpkin shell, and there That's I kept it very well. <laughs> Peter, Peter, right? How do I keep it? Now, when you put the gold on, do you put the gold on and then cover it like one more time with the clear coat? Because that's what I'm doing. Well, like I'm that. yeah, I'm gonna. I put glitter on those because I like glitter. Um, okay. So that's. I don't know if you can see it. See how sparkly that is, Sharon? Can you see the glitter on it or not? I have to hold it up again. I, I noticed on the pumpkin that it looks sparkly. Yeah. Oh, okay. I put sparkles on one of mine. Yeah, um, this is sparkly. But you know what it was? It was sparkly nail polish. I didn't have anything. I thought, I'm going to do this anyway. It worked out. Oh, yeah, I see it. No, nice. I've heard that works, too. And then nice. I have this um, gloss finish that I'm going to spray them with and seal them up. Yeah. Is that a waterproof gloss finish and it sprays on? I doubt it's waterproof. It just says acrylic sealer Fast seals and protects. I doubt it's waterproof. Provides a protective, high, shiny gloss finish. Is all. That's all. Do I need this brush here for something? I've got to fix something over here real quick. Well, 
you guys know what you're talking about. That did work. And I, I replace I replace the words. Oh, you did already? It's still wet, oh, you're but fast. There's no one like you. This is gonna sit next to my little gnome. Oh yeah, look at that. You did fix it. See? It did work. It worked. Yeah. That's nice. You can't even yeah. tell. No. Perfect. Oh, yeah, and I you can't to... fix anything. If you do it on an angle, man, it never it doesn't show and it looks like you did do it on an angle. So. Yes. I knew that it would now. Because people tend to look straight, they don't look on the angles. <laughs> True. Mm -hmm. I've been watching a tailor on um YouTube. And you should see the repairs this guy can make. You can't even tell that anything happened. It's like holes and pants and stuff. You cannot tell. Oh, wow. Amazing. Yeah. Well, you could probably do that, Sharon, mm. if you wanted to. Yeah. Yeah, if I wanted to. It was just interesting. If it was something I really like, but it, you know, I wouldn't do it out of anything like a, like a stretchy anything. It would have to be something that didn't stretch. Otherwise, you'll notice it. I would think. Karen, don't you have a smartphone? Who? You. Me? I yeah. do. I have a very smart one. I just got a new phone. <laughs> right. So there's no reason you can't come on and show us something. She well, doesn't want to go I get them. I suppose that's true. Oh, you want me to go and get my quilts right now? Look, you no. can't even show us anything. I know. It's okay. Anticipation. How's that? I'll show you when I get a little further. I am making yeah. one right now that, besides the the um, postage stamp, I'm doing one that might be pink and yellow and orange. I'm just saying. We'd really yeah. like to see the postage mm -hmm. stamp. Oh, yeah. Well, you know, that that's going to be a while before I have enough to put together to make it look like something. Oh, I suppose. Right now, I've only got like mm, maybe 20, maybe twenty four together, up and down in both directions, square. Just starting. Yeah, I'm just start. I just started it, so and it's the kind of thing that you know you can pick up and put down and. The thing is getting all the squares cut out. That's the big thing. Wow. And just making sure that your seams are a quarter inch or whatever. As long as you do, you can be under a quarter or over a quarter, but you have to be consistent. I tend to sew a little. I'm a little um, light on my quarter. I tend to be a little smaller, a little big, well, smaller than a quarter, just by a few threads. Scant. They call it scant quarter. I saw it scant quarter. And you have a lot of patience to do that, Sharon. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I just don't... Um, My back can only take so much of it, and then I have to get up. But for Carolyn's, I kept at it. I had to. Otherwise, yeah. otherwise, help I was going to bring a sewing machine with uh -huh. me, so I would have had to have brought my little featherweight. That, that might have been fun. 
to bring a sewing that machine. That would have worked. Yeah. yeah, but on a plane and then dragging oh, it through yeah. the airport. And, yeah. I mean, I could have done it. But. Man, I got four shells done. But I had to bring your quilt on the plane. I wouldn't right. let them, that wasn't going to get checked. And then I had my carry-on bag. And so your quilt, I pretended was my purse. <laughs> really? So. You yeah. pretended it was a purse. Because you can have one personal item and a carry-on. So the personal item is usually kind of like a laptop or a purse. So I just kind of went, pretended it was my purse. No one said anything. They didn't say, oh, is that your purse? My purse was inside of that bag, uh, if oh. I'm not mistaken, I think. Maybe, maybe not. I can't remember, but anyway, it all worked out in the end. That's what mattered. But dragging it through the airport was something else. I bet. Did fall asleep? Man. Did Danielle fall asleep on us? I don't know. Wake up, Danielle. She did. Oh, I'm here. I'm just folding clothes. Sorry. Oh, she's there. Okay. We don't want to let you sleep or anything. <laughs> no, I was just folding towels. I forbid that. Carol is doing an, another side of this thing, I think. Yeah, that, that's gonna come out so nice. Oh, she's painting it. Or no, no, I know it's the Mod Podge. The whole thing. No, it's the Mod Podge. You know what I do? What? <laughs> well, the, the the stuff I've got comes in a with a cap, like a squeeze bottle. Really? Maybe I'm maybe I'm thinking it's the white stuff underneath. It must be. Yeah, I just squeeze it on, and then I use the paintbrush. And anything that's extra, I just wipe off with the paintbrush. And then I go wash the paintbrush in the sink. But I get as much on my hands as I do on the object I'm doing. Oh, uh, I got much touch in my hair. Um, oh, in your hair. Okay. All over everything. That yeah. That's why I should have had Jimmy doing my hair tonight. for lots of yes. And smuggling fabric on a plane. Oh, yeah, absolutely, Kevin. I've done it. Because he has to do my hair. Oh. Kevin, when I go to Rhode Island, I go to a place there. Oh, it's like, like Disneyland for fabrics. It's called Ricos. If anybody's in Rhode Island and they want fabric, go to Ricos. It's really hard to find. <laughs> So you need GPS, and yeah, you go buy it there, and don't bring your significant other. <laughs> don't go by yourself. And then when you get back, you can hide it in your suitcase, and they'll never know. <laughs> it's like I used to keep acquiring sewing machines, and I finally got to the point where I was literally setting them up practically under Mike's nose. And that's you know, a month later, he says, is that new? What, that old? That's been there. No, you sound just like Jimmy would do that with guitars. He did the <laughs> same thing. Like, oh, no, I've had that. And then not until I went, yeah. how long have you had that? Oh, no. See, yeah, you can't go that far because then I'd have to say. But I said, no, oh. that's been there. I hid one sewing machine under a treadle machine. So I put it on the treadle part. Mm -hmm. I just kind of, yeah, and then slowly but surely, like I put the table to it in the den, and then I put the machine itself under the treadle, and then I just kind of like waited for a while. Oh, no, no, I've had that. How long? Oh, a year, for sure, at, at least. Oh my I need gosh. one of those cottages in the backyard. Oh, she should? Yeah, kind of. Sharon, have you ever heard of ladies having these computer sewing machines? Oh, yeah, I have seen them. 
they're if they're the if they're the uh, long arm sewing machines that they you know they use the the handles to move it, they can go upwards of forty thousand each. Oh my Which is why gosh! I don't have one. I oh, I want to get a sit down one, but they're still about five six thousand for one of those. A what sit down? How many? Yeah, for a, a lot kind of a you. It could be called a long arm, but it's really more of a mid arm. And it's about 18 inches, the throw plate. So it's much easier to quilt. Yeah, how many, how many sewing machines, machines I have? I don't have that many. I have 37, I think she has. Oh, uh, 17 can't count them. or 18, something oh. like that. 19. You're kidding. No more than 20. No, no, I don't have more than 20 for sure. They all, they, eh. there's now one that I normal. don't work, that doesn't work real great, but I can, I can make it work. Who is that? Yeah, the swirly stuff on the quilt. Oh, that was my tablet decided to make a noise. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Quilting down there is like an Olympic event. It is. It is. It really sounds yeah, like you can do the so swirls on your. You can do swirly things. You can do quilting on your home machine, but it depends on the size of the throat of your machine, which is the the distance from like the side of the curved part to the needle. And if you don't have a lot of room, well, you know you're really gonna you got to stuff it through there because eventually you got to get to the middle of the quilt. So I usually start in the middle and work my way out. And then I start in the middle again and work my way out the other side. You don't think you have one sewing machine anymore, Kevin? Well, I can give you one. I'll give you one. Yes, you're her special friend. Hmm? I said you're her special friend, Kevin. That's right. So, uh, yeah, I'll give Kevin a machine. You want a machine, Kevin? I'll send it for machine, free. The machine and you'll oh, get you want too. a machine, Kevin? And you get one, too. Oh, the, the big long-arm machines will accommodate a king-size quilt, Debbie. Unless you don't get much of one the best way I could just, if you're spending forty thousand dollars it it not only will it do your king size quilt <clears throat> but it will do it without you doing it. You program it and it just takes off on its own and off it goes. But that program's like ten grand just for that. Starting in the middle is proper. It is Kevin because then you don't have any wrinkles. You smooth them as you go. <laughs> Don't send any sewing machines to his house, please. All right. But if you want one, you let me know. I only have nice, cute ones, real cute ones. Well, I have one that's not so cute. It's not very old. Yeah, that, that's called quilting with credit card. Debbie Goldman, Schwinkie. Quilting by credit. <laughs> but I want my own. Oh. Debbie D, you should have come up and, and done some crafting. The one that does it for me, right. Hi, Robbie Bob. Hi, Robbity Bob. Well, Debbie D, my, my machine, I won't say it does it for me, but it's so, so straight because of the way it feeds through that you can literally look up and back down again. Whereas on my brother machine, if you'll take your eyes off it for a second, it starts going like cat walking skittering sideways so you have to watch but with my juki it goes dead straight that's good 
provided you hold your fabric straight, you're in business. If you can't do that, well, then there's no hope for you. But I chain piece. So you just keep sending one after the other without cutting the thread in between. Anyway, enough of that. I'm sure I'm boring you guys to death. But anyway, it's fun. And it keeps me up the streets. Unless I want to go out there. You're probably going to get our storms, Carolyn. We had they some were bad. These were bad today. Really bad. These came from Kevin, and the one two days ago came from him, too. Hmm. Sometimes we get what's called an Alberta clipper, even in the summertime, and but it, it's weather that'll come down from Alberta, and uh, those are bad, especially if it's snow, but these have been cut. They even said it's coming from southern Indiana, so I know it's Kevin's fault. Oh, Debbie, you don't know how to sew. Yes, you do. You really, everybody knows how. They just need to be shown. Oh, it's storm tonight where you are, Nancy. Oh, out of power, Nancy? Oh. Yeah, Mike, I um, have a lot of the old Singer sewing machines. Those are the ones I have. I've been sewing since I was hmm, 11, something like that, 12. Noise. We're waiting on the table to dry. Oh, Sassy yeah, Darcy. Yeah, yeah. Oh. It's not dry yet. It's got to dry, and then I've got to iron it again, and then I've got to put another um, coat on it. Uh, the um, substance the varnish. But I'm waiting for it to dry. Hi, Sassy. Sassy Hi, Sassy. Darcy. I keep getting that sound. It's my phone. Our phone went out earlier. Is my phone going out again on me? Well, I heard something, but did you? It went like that. Is that what you yeah, heard? Yeah. Right. Oh, okay. Maybe it isn't my phone then. Hi, Robbity Bob. No, Nancy can sew too. Okay. A blow dryer. Hmm. Blow dryer, she wants me to use a blow dryer on the table. Wouldn't that make a crank call by drying it too fast or no? You're making crank calls? What? You shouldn't be making crank calls, Sharon. No, I said, wouldn't it make the table crinkle? You know, like oh, the fabric, fine. or not the fabric, the um, napkin crinkle? No. If you dry it too fast? No. Okay. Yeah, no. 
but I, I wouldn't want to do it anyway. But I just felt really weird. Like I felt like weird. Like I was like a kid again and I was painting my kitchen and I was on the phone with my friends and you guys were my friends on the phone and not on YouTube. But I'm not even painting my kitchen. So tell me why I feel like that. I don't know why. I know. That's what I'm saying. Right. Yeah, I like it a lot. I think it's going to be really nice. Yeah. Yeah, I like it. I'm listening to you guys. I'm just making a lot of noise because I'm doing laundry. Oh, okay. I, you're not making a lot of noise. No, I, I was on mute. Yeah. <laughs> That's why. <laughs> oh, okay. I have to do, I have to, I have to go in and cut the stuff and then I have to do the bowl of It's probably Sharon has a soothing voice. Yes, she does. Who she does? does? You. Oh, you have okay. a soothing voice. Oh, Someone, said okay. Someone said that. Oh, well, I saw what Julie said, but I thought I didn't know she was talking to me. Mm -hmm. Hi, Rabbity Bob. I, find my canvases. I can't see. I want to do canvases, please. Kevin? The canvas is cool. You know, I, I was thinking about getting, because I saw really cool tennis shoes. For sale online, and they had oh, yeah. like flowers on them, and I thought, "Ooh, to do the same thing like you did, right?" You can. You can do your tennis shoes. Yes. That'd be really cute. Would be. Except I never wear tennis shoes, but still, I'd probably wear them then. Oh, you were destroyed when your napkin bubbled up, Kevin. Oh. When? How did his napkin bubble up? I don't know. How did it bubble up, Kevin? Just put a pin in it and then press it down. Oh, you left the layer on. I did that. <laughs> oh, yes. I, I did, did that, that the other day. Oh, we did mm -hmm. it again, yeah. Every once in a while, we all, we all. Yeah. But I pulled it off. You and would then, think you would think that it would make it stronger, but it doesn't. It's so weird. Fancy Darcy, they're the ones where the tops frayed around the top of the of the cats or whatever they are. I just think they're so cute. I really like them. Yeah, I should get some cats or something and jazz them up. That'd be cute. I'll have to watch to see how you do it again, though. I got to tell then, you guys. What? Mm -hmm. Tell us. Oh, go ahead. Finish, Sharon. And then I'll, no, I'll no, tell no. you guys No, no, no. No, go ahead and tell us. No, I was oh. just worried about waterproofing the, sh the napkins on the shoes. Oh, Yeah. Because one drop of rain and you're kind of messed up. Darcy says, can yeah, I you, can I you're so cute. Like can I show you something that I made? Yes, yes, I, you did. You showed us the little no. bit Oh, my patch. gosh. I took some air dry clay and I just molded this and then I painted it. Oh, I love that. So cool. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't wear them either, Sassy. Those I might wear, though. Thank you, Julie. Oh, how cute. But that's not a napkin, is it? No. Mm -mm. Is it? I don't care how it's ceramic, air dry clay. right? Air dry clay. What's it called? Air dry clay. Air dry clay? She has air not dry. shared that with us yet. It dries in the air. Well, air dry clay. Air dry clay. Hmm. Huh. And it dries, dries like that? It's so shiny oh, like that? Well, you make whatever thing you want, you know? And you made the turtle. I made the turtle. That's really cute. Thanks. Hmm. I need a cat. 
I need to that shelf. I know. I have that. It's in the, the bathroom. You sleep with it by your bed? No, it's in the bathroom. Oh. I put it in the main bath. Not in the main bath, the guest bath. I'd so feel better if you slept with it by your head. Yo, you want me to sleep with it? I'll yeah. put it on the nightstand. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'll do that. Because then you can say, look, I'm looking at the shell Carolyn made, and she's sleeping under the quilt I made. <laughs> there you go. Okay. I can do that. Yeah. I'll 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 bring it upstairs and put it When I wake up in the morning, Sharon, I'll be like, Oh look, I'm under Sharon's quilt and now I bet you she's looking at my shell. There you go. Oh, okay. No. Odds are if you get up in the morning in the real AM, the odds mm -hmm. are I'm probably not looking at your shell if it's still AM. So oh, okay. I tend to get up in the PM. Okay. Yeah. But yes, I would look at it first thing. Yeah, I can still have that fantasy. Are you guys lying about air dried clay? No. Are you like Scooter and you lead me down the primrose path? No, air, no, like air dried clay. I really, air dried clay. I never heard of it. Besides Play Doh, I mean, if you leave that out, it gets mm. like. Oh, I used to do that all the time. I, yeah. I once left it in the broiler of my mother's oven. <laughs> oh, we used to put shrinky dinks in there, in the oven. I think that's what they were called. Mm hmm Yes. Shrinky dinks. And then we had the, what was it, the critter maker, something like that. Oh, creepy crawlers. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but it was the cr critter maker, I think. So it was all like different bugs and stuff. Yeah, that was creepy crawlers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was in a cylinder thing, and you baked them and stuff. Okay, Jimmy, you found some hair downstairs. Oh. You have hair in your back pocket. Mm -hmm. Jimmy found another wig down here. That's the one. That's the one oh. I got for you. you Don't be lifting those there. weights yet. You are not far enough post up. What? I don't know what you said. I just shrinky Um, it was it was these little molds and they were metal and you'd squeeze stuff in it and then you'd cook it. Is that right, Karen? Oh, I know that that's shrinky that right. dinks. That would not shrink yeah. dinks, that's creepy crawlers. Oh no, the shrinky drink dink was like clear stuff. Yeah, yeah, and they had, yeah. Like, no, yeah. Patterns I'm, on I'm it. gonna review them for my blog. I didn't do them as a kid, but I reviewed them on my blog, but Creepy crawlers I had as a little kid. Yeah, we had the creepy crawlers. Okay. And, oh, I mean, um, and the now thing I remember maker, they were metal, whatever I that was. Went into plastic trays, I don't know, but now I remember the metal when you just said that I remember the metal. Yeah, and then the shrinky dink. We had the shrinky dink, too, and we, we would cook those in the oven. Yeah, like stained glass molds in the oven. That's it, Nancy M. Yeah. I hear you, Sharon. Yeah. Sherilyn remembers every childhood toy she ever had. Yeah. I, swear. I didn't have a lot because I had siblings. So my stuff would disappear. So it was almost impossible to lay claim to anything <laughs> except my crayons. Right. I guarded those with my life. Because yeah. <laughs> I got the 101 set one year for Christmas. So I had to hide those. What did you get? The 101 Crayola crayon. big box. It came, yeah. it came in a flat box. Not yeah, you know when you have that brand new box of crayons and you're like... Mm. Uh, you don't want to use them. Yeah. And you're like, I'm going to keep these all together. Oh, yes. Color coordinated. <laughs> yep. And then somebody comes to your house and uses them and Oh, I know. They break them. And then they're like sharpening they, the other one. They're sharp with that Yeah, and then they, they tear off the paper and yeah. be like, what are you doing? Stop that. <laughs> Stop it. I know. I'm telling. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to tell. Yeah. I'm I keep my um, Prisma colors in order. Color order. They don't come that way. 
but I, I keep them according to color. I'm telling on you. Yes, Darcy. Yeah, I hated if my crayons broke. And I didn't like people sharpening them either because they'd sharpen too much. Oh, I hate it when people sharpen them and then they just ruined everything. I know. And then they'd have to tear the paper. <laughs> like, stop it. Oh, you guys are too much. Ugh. Yeah, that's why you can't that have nice. That and my roller skates were all I had for my very own, and I didn't like people messing with my crayons. Mm -hmm. So, okay. Now I just about have my space cleaned up here. Mm. Good. I do mine out in the garage. Do what? Janae, is your husband an ex an ex hippie? My what? Is your husband an ex hippie? Oh, uh, well, I am. You are? Oh, yeah. are you really? Oh, no kidding. Oh, sure. Oh, yes. I hmm. used to go barefoot all the time. Oh, yeah, but everybody did that, though. I mean, and, and walk 10 miles? Oh, oh, no. No, no. I wore bell bottoms. <clears throat> but I saw your husband had that, like, long bell hair, bottoms. and he looked like Oh, yeah. Oh, bell yes. bottoms. My hair was down to my butt, yeah. Oh. Yeah, he's got long hair. He's got long, long hair. hair. What was that song? Long hair, people? What was that? Long need not apply. My, need not apply, something like that. Yeah, so I put my hair up under my cap, and I went in to ask them why, for something like that. Yeah, signs, signs, everybody's. Yeah, yeah. No, my husband was not a hippie. No, I didn't think your husband was a hippie. But he had a motorcycle. Oh, boy. That's why I decided to date him. Because I thought he was dangerous. Of yeah. course. <laughs> oh, my friends. Oh, my friends laugh like crazy. The ones that know us now. When I tell them, yeah, I thought Mike was dangerous. And they go, oh, are you kidding? Yeah. <laughs> dangerous. I, I dropped his dinner in his lap. That's how... He, I met him. Oh, oh that's right. Gosh. Yeah. I was working at the big boy. Oh, the big boy. Dropped, and it slid right off the plate into his lap. <laughs> yep. You mean yep. you slid into his lap? No, the food did. The food slid. I went and what, to set what, it what, down what, and the what, plate what? was tipped and it just slid right off the plate into his lap. What happened? Did you start crying? No, did I was really embarrassed crying? though. No. You didn't? What uh -uh. did you say? What did you do? I was mortified. I, I, what did I do? <laughs> I ran into the kitchen and I made him a new dinner. And he'd had a, had a big boy. And so I put double meat on it. And then I gave it to him. And then what happened? And then, and then what happened? She left me, she left me a 100% tip. And, and then he left. And then he really? came back he again left? a couple of days later, and he ordered dinner, and he asked me out, and I was dating, like, a couple people then, mm -hmm. and so I couldn't really oh, quite work him in. So of course. I, um, yeah, so I, uh, I had to put him off a little bit, and then finally he asked, Is, you don't want to go out with me? Or I said, no, it's just that I'm really busy, because I was going to school, really too. Dark. So, right. Yeah. So then I kind of dropped one person, and so I could sketch him in for Wednesday night or something. <laughs> oh, oh, you yeah. met your husband when he was cheating from your history test. That's funny. Oh, my gosh.
Okay, you just made me remind I said motorcycle, Mike. My mic had a motorcycle. Michael, Michael, motorcycle. Remember that? No. You don't remember that? Michael, Michael, motorcycle? Uh-uh. Oh, my gosh. We but when my son, them. Michael, was about five and we were driving in the car, he says, when I grow up, I'm going to have a leather jacket and I'm going to have a motorcycle. And I reached over and I patted his knee and I said, that's great. And he looked at me and he says, that is? I said, yeah. I said, but we'll miss you. He says, what? I says, we'll miss you. Oh, oh, you didn't plan on living at home and doing that, did you? Maybe I won't, he said. That was <laughs> Whisper to me, I played the field. Oh, yeah, I dated three or four guys at once. Oh, I, for, for the record, I didn't sleep with any of them because I wasn't like that, but I did. But it kind of came to bite me one time because we, we had moved and my parents were getting sod delivered. And so I made the mistake of telling all these guys that we were going to be doing sod on Saturday and they all showed up. And my dad's like, okay, you work in the back, you work on the side, you work in the front. And then he put me on the hill and said, she's the only one who can go on the hill. Nobody can go over to the hill. <sighs> yeah. Two, three out of four came. Three out of four ain't bad. So I was kind of like, hmm, oops. <laughs> it was a good thing that he, you know, mm -hmm. dispersed everybody. Yeah. So nobody ever met. They never saw one another or anything, so it was pretty good. And my brother got a bunch of people to come over because he says, hey, you want to come over and roll some grass this weekend? And his friend said, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Only he literally meant sod. They were like, oh. Well, then they stayed into it anyway. Oh, my goodness. Okay, kids. Um, yeah. What time is it? It's one thirty. It's one thirty. I almost. know. Okay, so okay, I so guess, guess anybody, anybody that wants to come on for the Patreon uh, member uh, Zoom, you can come on because um, I don't know what we'll do, movie or something. I don't know. Maybe. Let's see. Ooh, Darcy, sassy Darcy. Her tip was a kiss. That's nice. I didn't get that until the date. I was a very good girl, Whisper to me. I really was. Hey, Nancy. Nancy. <gasps> oh, he okay. broke his back on a motorcycle. <gasps> oh, that's why they're so bad. That decoupage on... That's a lot of work. Just Deco getting you, all your stuff out. Well, it's out. the clean up. Yeah, clean yeah. up, clean up, everybody. Yes. Yeah. Clean up, clean up, everybody. You got to wash those do brushes really well. Yeah. Oh, what do yes. You, do you use soap on your brushes or do you just rinse them? Most of the time I rinse them, but sometimes I use soap. Oh. Yeah. I, clean up. That's what I was going to tell you guys. Everybody, just reminded me, Sharon. Mm. Um, you know the rugs that we got. I call them my my New York rugs. The New York yeah. rugs yeah. from yes. Mary. Yes. Well, you know how she said that um, you can put a little bit of Dawn dish soap on them yep. and Take then them hose them off. Rinse them off with the hose and stuff. Yep. Okay, so. I decided that I was going to wash a couple of Andrea's rugs. Um, I got my daughter two of those rugs. Okay. And so I took them outside and Connor and I were washing them. And the first thing I did was I put way, way too much Dawn dish soap oh, on them. Oh, probably suds in like crazy. Oh, oh you'll rinse oh, it forever. Oh, my gosh. Oh, yeah. It was a nightmare trying to get all that dawn out. Oh, wow. It, oh, I'll bet. I, I, I just, I see you know, I squeezed the bottle and put a whole bunch of dawn. So then Connor and I was hosing it off. And Brad, my son-in-law, was outside doing stuff. And he said, well, 
why don't you guys, he said, just let me hook up the power washer for you. And you can oh. use the power washer. Oh, gosh, be careful, though, right? Because what if it's too high? Uh, I said, mm. well, okay. That, yeah, that's fine. We'll use the power washer. Oh, no. Yeah, I'm afraid I, now. Um, so, oh, no. Is this going to be a sad yes, story? Yes. It is. We, oh, we use the power story, washer. Sharon. And this was a dark gray rug. Oh, no. And it took the color right off of that rug. Oh, no. In oh, certain no. areas, not like uniformly uh, or anything, just if uh, Hunter held the power washer oh, in one no, spot too no. long. Oh. So now there's one rug that, you know, really doesn't look that nice anymore. Oh. And it was a beautiful dark gray rug. Oh. Just oh, beautiful. No. So, oh no, I learned the hard way on that one. Good night, Element W. Boy, oh no, that's too bad. I'm sorry to hear that. Oh. Well, I'm telling you guys, so you don't do anything yeah, like no that. No power washer on the rugs, guys. No power washers on rugs. Duly mm -hmm. noted. And not Can too much rugs, dawn. Kevin, so. Not too much dawning. Did yeah, no. Kill the rug? Yes, I did. I. Uh, oh, Janae, oh, my gosh. Janae. Janae. I know. Uh, you killed it. You, mean, you didn't if tell I could, me you were going to kill it. Remember when? Uh, I, if I. The, oh, yeah, there you go. Put a flower pot on the spot. That's what I was thinking. Do you have a lamp or a table or something you could set where it is? Or not. You didn't tell me you were going to kill it. Oh, no. This was... They just built a big addition onto their house with the laundry room and a mud room oh, and oh, a oh. triple garage and all this. So one of the rugs was at one of those doors. So... Oh. Mm. Yeah. So... I bought the rug, I ruined the rug, and that's my sad tale. Oh, no. Do you I'm belong sorry. to Sam's or to Costco? Oh, my daughter does. You can, well, you can get nice rugs there, you know. Really nice. Yeah. Well, so, I'm a rug freak. I like to have nice rugs. Oh, um, boy. That's... I only have them at the door. Why is everybody calling in here? Because we're having a fun night. Aren't we so lucky to have all these great people? Apparently. Hi, guys. Look at all you guys. Hi. Hi, hi everyone. Hi, Chad. Hi, Robin here. Robin here. Bob. Oh, hi, mm -hmm. Our Zooms are like 24-7 now, Sharon. They're like 24-7. <laughs> it feels like it. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Let me see who's in here. And then out of Zooms all day. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Hmm. <laughs> I had said that okay. once, right, in the winter. I said, well, I'll have to open up some Zooms like during the day for people now. It's just open all the time. People like I freak out if there's not an open Zoom. Where the hell is the open really? Zoom? <laughs> oh, I can't believe it. So you can just call in any old time. Any old time, there? Sharon. I need that Zoom to fall What's asleep. Right, Sharon? Day shift, night shift. Anytime, Sharon. The Zooms are open. Wow. Mm -hmm. You're welcome, You're Kevin. telling me that, aren't you? Thank you for thanking me, Kevin. That's very sweet of you. You love a small amount of sal suds. suds. Yeah, yeah, I'm using the sal suds, suds, but you know what? The sal suds, suds, it's pretty it's strong, strong stuff, stuff, right, Julie? Right, Julie? Sal sluts. I've never heard of sal suds. I never heard um, of it's it. It's this cleaner, anonymous, anonymous, got me anonymous. some of it. You know that um, Dr. Dr. Bronner's, I think it is? Sal, sal suds. suds. It's supposed to be kind of like hmm. a natural yeah, thing, but it, it's pretty strong stuff. you got to be, it only tastes good. Teaspoon? No, not even like a tablespoon or something. Thank you, Debbie D. Oh, okay. Oh, you're welcome, honey. I'm so good to see you tonight. You look so pretty. 
Oh, thank you. You're Must have welcome. been my earrings. Yes. <laughs> beautiful. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right, kids in the chat here. We'll let you go, and oh, thank you for watching, and we'll see you later, and uh, prayers yeah, for good night, everybody. Over. Okay, come on in the Zoom if you want. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye. Oh, I have to Bye. put the number. I know why I have to put the number on the other side.